Alrighty, stream should be live. Just gotta wait for YouTube. Seriously. I, I need a better intro. I keep saying this every time I start my stream. I need a better intro, but I just gotta wait for YouTube. YouTube's taking a sweet old time. And we're live. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Ape Escape 2 finale. Tonight, we're focused on getting just the remaining apes and beating Spectre one last time, and that's it. But I do see that Miracle was in here. She said, I'm in. Good luck, my love. Even though you're over there, uh, thank you. I appreciate it. But, uh, yeah, so tonight we're going to be getting 100% on the game. So we're going to beat Spectre again. We beat Spectre last night. So, yeah. But, uh, what's up, FJC? How you doing, man? He said, yo, yo, yo. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. We up in here, Nutty 8, playing some Ape Escape 2. No, I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, but I'm, uh, I'm super excited to beat this game uh, once again. You know, I've beaten this game a million times, but it never gets old. But, uh, escape the apes. Wait, so we have to escape the apes. They're trying to capture us now, I'm joking. What's up, Liam? How you doing, man? Yeah, I'm sorry I didn't catch your stream earlier. As a matter of fact, I'm, I was actually asleep when you had messaged me, so I do apologize about that. But, um, yeah, I do hope you guys are doing good. So we're going to be beating Ape Escape 2 100% tonight. Like I said, with Ape Escape games, it's not, like, just one playthrough. It's like you have to go back and capture the other apes if you want to get, like, the full ending. You don't have to do it, obviously, but, yeah, so. Yeah, I know. Yeah, go back and capture the apes. Can I not skip this? Jimmy, I've assigned... Oh, yeah, I forgot all about that. Yeah, there's a, it's like it basically just tells you where all the monkeys are at. Okay, so we only have a few left on moon base, but uh, what's up, Semperfy? How you doing, man? I'm not sure if that's a uh, zombie collector, but Semperfy... <laughs> Isn't that the name of the uh, first campaign level in World at War? Semperfy? But uh, Robbie would be like, I sleep... Yeah, I was, I was actually asleep when you sent me that. But I can't wait... Yeah, me either, dude. I love that game. That That is my favorite Assassin's Creed. I do not care what anybody says. Assassin's Creed 3, in my opinion, is the best one. I mean, obviously, you know, people have opinions, but it's, like, I, don't, I still don't get why it's, everybody hates it. Like, everybody's like, oh, that game is so bad. It's really not that bad. Okay, so we obviously need the boxing glove. Uh, monkey radar would come in handy. But yeah, like I said, whenever I go back and capture the remaining apes, uh, typically I go in reverse order. So I do the bigger levels first, and then I go to the smaller levels last. It just, it saves me the time. But, um... Yeah, so the final boss in this game, like the final final boss, because there's two final bosses, is actually very easy. It's not that hard. It's a little bit more challenging than the first one we did, but yeah, so I do hope you guys are doing good, though. I really do. But um, yeah, I almost didn't stream because uh, I think, because actually, matter of fact, we have a mouse in the house. Uh, last night, we found that there's a fucking uh, rodent running rampant in the fucking house somewhere, and so... Uh, we were gonna tear the kitchen apart to see if we could find it, because we laid down traps and shit. And yeah, it's just, it's all bad. Yeah, we have a mouse in the house. I I, I don't know how the hell we have a mouse, but... Yeah, because this house is by no means filthy. I don't know how the hell a rodent got in here, but yeah. I just hope it's not more than one mouse, because if that's it, then we have to call an exterminator. Which, <laughs> I hope it doesn't come to that, because that, that'd be really bad. But, um... Yeah, I don't know, I mean, what are your guys' experience with mice? If you guys ever had mice, because... I mean, the only thing I know about mice is that they're a, a huge pain in the ass, like, because once they get in, it's like, it's almost impossible to get rid of them, because, um, some tracks, tracks, traps don't work, so yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of a pain, but, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see, because I, I woke up this morning, I'm like, did we get the mouse yet? They're like, nope, I'm like, oh, great, a fucking rodent's running loose, great, <laughs> and I have a cat, too, you might be saying, oh, you have a cat, you're good to go, nope, my cat is blind. And she's elderly, so it's like, you know, it's kind of pointless. But uh, we, had, we have had them, but not in years. Yeah, this is our first time dealing with a mouse, because... Like I said, you know, my house isn't filthy, so I don't know how the fuck we got a mouse. Because that's typically how you attract mice, is filth, right? Isn't, like, filth, like, the biggest, the biggest contributor to getting a mouse in your house? I don't know. Maybe it just, maybe it snuck in somehow, because I know they can get in through the walls and shit. Because they're, like, really small. Not as big as a rat. I don't know why we're talking about this. What is this, exterminator classes? Or is this Ape Escape 2? <laughs> okay, let me get that chocolate chip cookie. Yeah, this was the first Ape Escape to include uh, chocolate chip cookies. Which, uh, chop, chop, chop. Chocolate chip cookies uh, re replenish all of your health. Wait, is that a monkey right there? Wait, I missed him? How did I miss him? I could have swore I captured him. What the fuck? What the hell? Is that Pleak? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it's Pleak. Hold on a sec. I hate when he's inside of that armor. Oh, he got me shit. Yeah, he fucked my day up. He said, nope, not today. But, um... Oh, yeah, it's like gradual, like his armor. He's still trying to fight, even with half of his armor broken off. 
But, um, yeah, the next time you go live, though, I for sure will be in there, I promise. Because I have to get up early tomorrow anyway, so... Because tomorrow is Memorial Day, at least in the United States, and, um... I have a lot of military background in my family, so we're gonna go visit a few graves tomorrow. So, yeah. So, I, I have... I really have no choice but to get up, so... Yeah. <laughs> Memorial Day! Happy Memorial Day, everybody! I'll probably stream tomorrow. I'm not sure what it's gonna be just yet, because, um... You know, with this playthrough... Uh, being finished today, I have to figure out what we're gonna do, because with AC3, I'm gonna wait until my Switch gets here, because I want to do the Nintendo Switch version. So yeah, I'm gonna wait until I get my actual Nintendo Switch before I start AC3. But luckily, there's been a few updates. Um, supposedly, it, it'll be here Friday, June 2nd. So yeah, it's, it's a, like, I think, like about four days, I think. So yeah, on Friday, I set the stream for Friday when I open it live and stuff, so yeah. And then probably the next day after that, we'll start AC3. But, um, yeah, so for the meantime, I'm probably going to have to do probably just smaller chill streams, probably. But then again, though, I also bought Fatal Frame last night for the PS3 because I didn't realize it was on the PlayStation Store, and I bought it for $10. So, yeah, I can finally continue Fatal Frame again. I'm really excited to do that game. But uh, I will mostly stream around the same time that you saw my stream. Oh, yeah, so, like, the afternoon, like, 12 o'clock, yeah. My time, at least. Because um, I feel really bad every time I miss a stream, because it's like, I woke up and I saw, I'm like, ah, fuck, I missed it. Because I clicked on it and it said two hours ago, I'm like, ah, he might not be alive anymore. And then it it, it just it, ju it just played the stream that was already done. I'm like, damn it, I missed it. But, um, yeah, so for the meantime, we're probably going to have to do, like, smaller streams until my Switch gets here. Because, you know, like I said before, um... I want to, I'm going to wait until my Nintendo Switch actually arrives before I start Assassin's Creed 3. And you might be saying, oh, well, just do the console version. I mean, yeah, I could, but, you know, I do kind of want to get my money's worth. I paid, what, 20, 20 USD for Assassin's Creed 3 on the Switch, so, yeah. It's, I mean, it, it's, it, it's, it's cheap, because when the game first came out for the Switch, I think it was like 40. But I have the GTA San Andreas, San Andreas game on Steam, and I took advantage of getting the game. My money was worth it, and I can now play the game with mods. This game is expensive nowadays. Yeah, San Andreas is, um, is pretty good. Like, I, I have it for PC, but it's, like, it's broken on PC. Like, you have to patch it a lot, but that's pretty cool that you, uh, you got it, though. Because that that's how it is with Fatal Frame, too, because I was sitting there thinking last night, because I almost budged, and I almost bought, like, a PS2 copy of that game. But on eBay, that game is, like, $80. I'm not spending $80 on a PS2 game. And you might be saying, oh, why not? What if I take the gamble, and it doesn't read? You know what I'm saying? So it's I'm just better off, you know, getting a uh, a digital download of it, so I know for for sure it's gonna actually play. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I mean, cause I pay ten dollars, which is significantly cheaper than some of these prices that people are asking for. But uh, yeah, next house flipper stream you will be crucial because viewers decide the house and decor. Oh hell yeah, dude. Yeah, I'll I'll try my best. I'm not a very creative person, but I'll try to give input where I can. But, um, yeah, tomorrow I'm, I'm actually going to set an alarm. I'm not kidding. Like, I'm seriously going to set an alarm so I don't actually miss the stream. Because I feel really bad when I do that. Because I know some people, when they come in here, they're like, Oh, I'm, I, I'm sorry I missed the stream. Or I'm sorry I'm late. But the way I see it, you know, people just tune in when they can. Like, there's no set time you have to be in here. It's just, you just show up if you can or when you can. Like, it's not a big deal. It's not a contest. It's not crucial. Like, I'm not going to skin you guys alive if you don't make it to a live stream. <laughs> it's like, oh, you, you, oh, yeah, you missed, like, 50 streams. Yeah, you're out. No, I'm just kidding. No, I would never do that. I'd never do that. Because I know, you know, people have busy lives. People have things going on. So I understand if somebody can't make it, you know? It's just... Oh, shit. Jimmy. Jimmy, Jimmy. Oh, my God. No. Oh, God. I pushed the wrong button. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, I pulled out the boxing glove. Okay, there's two monkeys somewhere around here that I have to capture. Oh my god, it's been forever since I did moon base. Shit. Man, this is gonna be this is gonna be hell. But uh I don't set alarms, but I make a mental note of it. Yeah, yeah, that's how I am too. Because um that's how I was with uh Cameron Soup, because Cameron Soup, he goes live like about an hour or two after I'm done streaming. And um the one time he went live and I didn't even know he was live, I'm like, how the fuck did I didn't even get a notification? I'm like, oh I'm pissed, I missed the stream. And with FJC, I feel bad because sometimes I miss his streams too. Like, it'll it'll say, um, FJC is live, and then I'm like, oh, fuck, I missed it. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I have to watch both of you guys, seriously, because I feel so bad when I miss them. 
but uh, you have to downgrade the GTA San Andreas game on PC, but it sometimes doesn't work with your save, or the game would crash. I would have a hard time playing the game, but I can finally play it. Yeah, yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. The uh, San Andreas downgrade thing, because um, Vice City did that to me once. I remember uh, I was trying to play Vice City, and uh, the, the game would crash because the save file was... It was a different version compared to the game version. That will happen. If, if the save file is not compatible with your game version, it will crash on the loading screen. So you're basically forced to start from scratch. Like, you have to start from the beginning, which I hate that. But, yeah, it's, it's really sad how Rockstar neglects their PC ports because, I mean, I'm not, like, strictly a PC player. I mean, I mostly play console, if anything, but... It's like, you know, Rockstar is my favorite game developer of all time. And just the fact that they just shit on PC players every single time. I mean, it's it's ridiculous. When I checked my Twitch followers, I saw your name and I was like, who this? Till I saw Cameron Soup on the foot. It's like, wait, who's that? <laughs> it's like, oh, it's Nutty Ape, yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's just, it's really sad. I mean, because if you look at every mainstream Rockstar game on PC, it's broken. GTA 3, broken. Vice City, broken. San Andreas, broken. Manhunt broken, bully broken. I think you know where this is going. GTA 4 absolutely in shambles on PC. Like you could have a you know like top of the line PC, and GTA 4 will still manage to stutter. Like it's just because it was poorly coded. So I mean it's it's simply because Rockstar just doesn't care about their PC port. Like they 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 focus more on the console sales. They don't really give a shit about PC players. And I think it's because people mod the game and stuff. But if you think about it, the majority of Rockstar games on PC are playable because of the community. The community saved those games. All those patches that you see for the game, that, that wasn't Rockstar, that was fan-made, fan-made shit. Because they don't care about their PC ports. Hold on a second. Where's this damn monkey at? I gotta find this little motherfucker. <laughs> oh man, but yeah, San Andreas is good. Um, it's, it's, it used to be one of my favorites, but it's kind of hit or miss for me nowadays. Like, I still like the game, but it's like the mission fail structure just makes the game so annoying. I mean, like, you know, you fail a mission in Red County, and then you end up in Las Venturas until you gotta drive all the way back. Yeah, no thanks, I'm good. Fuck that shit. Rockstar Port's more broken than a, wee, than, than a wall smacked with a sludge. Yeah, probably. I, I, I wouldn't doubt it. I mean, because Red Dead 2 even, I hear, has a lot of issues on PC. Because I actually used to have Red Dead 2 on PC, but I had to refund it because my PC couldn't run the game too well. Oh, wait, I know where the last few monkeys are. Hold on a second. They're in this room. They're in this room, pretty sure. Both of them are. I know exactly where... Because the, there's that one up, up top. Yeah, I know exactly where he is. Hold on a sec. I love the boxing glove in this game. Shit. Fuck. Hold up. But, uh, I need to go downstairs for a sec. My, my, your mom needs me. I love you. Oh, okay. For sure. Uh, just be careful, you know, because it is almost time for you to take your medicine, so... Don't forget to take your meds. Hit Scotty. My dad used to know a guy named Scotty Too Hotty. I'm not even joking. Like, Scotty Too Hotty. Ride horsey, same button as choke lady. Oh my god. I mean, yeah. But it's just... Like, like I feel bad for PC players because... Like, Rockstar neglects their ports. Like, sad. Like, like it's it's very sad. Like, because... Listen, I'm not strictly a PC player, but... Sometimes when I go back and I play, I'm like, Oh yeah, I'm gonna boot up uh, Vice City. I'm gonna boot up GTA 3 and... Just fuck around, you know, just for old time's sake. But then it's like, oh no, you need this patch, and then you need to download this mod so the game doesn't do this, and blah blah blah. I'm like, really? It's like, you have to jump through so many hoops just to play these games. And I mean, I know, you know, hardware advances, and, you know, in turn, software doesn't run as good as it used to, because, you know, of hardware advancement, but still. Well, I just, I don't get it, you know, it's like, well, why do they, why do PC players always get fucked over? Like, Manhunt? I love that game. Manhunt is probably in my top five games of all time. And guess what? You can't play it without patching it. If you patch it, if you don't patch it, the first gate, game crashes. And sometimes it won't even let you proceed. So yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty ridiculous that stuff like that is even happening. So I hope that the GTA 6 port is a little bit better than the recent stuff they've been putting out. Because from what I hear, uh, Red Dead 2 has problems with crashing a lot of the time. I find it funny that you've heard me speak like twice. Yeah, yeah, the because I've heard your voice before, yeah. I remember what it sounds like. Cause um the first time was on that chill stream I did on my birthday last year. And then um the second time was on your live stream, so yeah. <laughs> oh shit. It's like you, you guys hear me speak all the time, but it's like I don't well, I've I've heard FJC's voice, I know what he sounds like. Cause I watched his stream after it was live the one time. 
But yeah, in Cameron Soup, I know what he sounds like. Hell, I know what Niall sounds like, too. I'm actually surprised he's not here, actually. Niall. But, uh, Need for Speed Undercover, which was a game I bought with mods installed. The game broke in 50 seconds when I did a cop takeout event, and I never wanted to play the game because it was so bad. Yeah, that, see, I hate shit like that. That shit gets on my nerves. It's like, don't release it if it's gonna do shit like that. But, uh, I bought the game on Origin. Dude, I forgot, I, f dude, I remember Origin. I forgot all about that shit. That's, I think that's EA's launcher, right? Origin, yeah. Because if it's one thing that I do hate about PC, is that there's like a million fucking game launchers you can choose from. Like you got Steam Origin, Ubisoft Connect, like there's like 50 million fucking launchers. Like I don't understand why that is. Okay, so we cleared Moonbase, thank god. I hate that level. Actually, better yet, let me save my game. Just so, Yeah, we need to save, save, save. But I'm pretty sure you heard me first time on the Gary's Mod Street. Yeah, it was it was on that birthday stream because we were we were playing Gmod, remember? But uh, well, that was a bit freaky. I just got here and I saw I'm surprised that I was here. But, oh yeah, that's that's crazy actually. Holy shit! But uh, what's up, man? How you doing? Appreciate you. But um, yeah, that happened last night too with Cameron. I remember I mentioned him like five or ten minutes before he actually came in here. I swear to God, I'm not psychic. I was, okay, so guys, I have good news. So I sort of have a m more of an official date of that Nintendo Switch stream. It's gonna be Friday. Because uh, USPS just updated, like, earlier this afternoon. And uh, told me that it'll be here Friday. But, uh, that game is just so badly coded that this game made me want to refund it. Yeah, yeah, some games are just poor. Wait, GTA 4 is one of those games that's poorly coded on PC. But, uh, he ain't sidekick. Just sucks. To oh, damn. <laughs> Maybe I do. I'm a male prostitute. No, I'm joking. Wait, oh. It's told me there's a monkey somewhere in here. It's over here somewhere. But, yeah, um... I just, like, I really do feel bad for PC players. I mean, even Assassin's Creed uh, had some pretty bad PC ports. I mean, look at, you. well, Unity was just broken, period. Like, AC Unity, if you guys were um, around whenever AC Unity first launched, yeah, that game was a dumpster fire when it came out. Like, it had numerous glitches. Like, it was, it was embarrassing. I'll never forget that glitch where the faces were missing. Oh, my God, that was fucking hilarious. Like, like the, 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 literally, you just see teeth and eyes. That's all you'd see, teeth and eyes. It, like, that was seriously a glitch in Assassin's Creed Unity. And nowadays, Unity's a lot better than it used to be, but it still has a lot of glitches, though. Like, there's a glitch where, um, you can't fight back. Like, it's like you'll be in the midst of a fight and you just suddenly can't stop attacking. But, um, have you ever played Need for Speed Undercover? I think I have. I, it's It's been years since I played a Need for Speed game. It was, like, it was way back on the PS2, I think. But yeah, I, th I have played Need for Speed. I don't know if I played Undercover, though. But, um, so in Monster Hunter, I found a strategy for my no-hit run. The weapon I use, I can stick to high walls. Aw, oh, damn. That's cheese, but I mean, that works, though. Shit. <laughs> oh, fuck. I mean, God bless anybody that goes for no-hit runs, though. Like, I don't know how anybody can do that. Like I said, I told you guys, there was a guy that legitimately beat every mainstream Assassin's Creed without taking any damage. Fuck that shit. Rockstar games suck off to console players, but not PC players. So many games crash on PC, but I, yeah, yeah, I was, I literally just mentioned that too, because um, Rockstar cares more about their console ports than they do their PC ports, because if you if you look at like every mainstream Rockstar game, it it has some form of like some form of like uh, I guess broken like some degree of brokenness to it on PC, like GTA 3 unplayable without patches, Vice City unplayable without patches, San Andreas unplayable without patches, Manhunt Bully. GTA 4, 5, like, just every Rockstar game has some kind of problem. But, uh, aside, if the monster can chuck stuff at me, yeah, yeah, that's true, because, I mean, no-hit runs, that's just, you, you gotta have, like, some level of patience that I simply don't have. Like, you know Cameron Soup with, um, The Last of Us Part 2 permadeath? He's, he recently did a stream where he was doing permadeath grounded. Fuck that shit, no, absolutely not, no way. I can't even beat that game on Grounded without Permadeath. What makes you think I'm going to be able to do that shit with, with, on fucking Permadeath? Because you know the thing about Permadeath? You slip up, back to the start you go. That's how, that, that game does not give a shit. It does not care how far you got. You do you do full game Permadeath, you you know you, you, you have to know what you signed up for, pretty much. Because if you, if you fuck up, that's it. That's the end. But, uh, Liam, no weird shit. Horny Jail still applies. You're still on thin ice. I'm like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wait, there's a... Something back here. Hold on a second. Break these down. Thank God for this fucking boxing glove. It's told me it's back here. I just came this way, didn't I? Oh, God. <laughs> Your ice cracking. Oh, my God. 
Yeah, you just, well, you just hear the It's like, oh shit, we better get out of here. Okay. So yeah, uh, tonight's the night. We're gonna get 100% on this game, and then tomorrow, um, I'm probably just gonna do a chill stream, probably, because, you know, I'm gonna wait until the next playthrough. Because, um, I actually bought Fatal Frame last night on the PS3, so I'm actually, I'm thinking of actually doing that before I do Assassin's Creed 3. Because, um, like, I've done AC3 so many times. But, uh, until 1st of July, you can say weird shit. Oh, my God. Here's Nutty slurping. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. I swear to God, you guys always make me look like I'm an idiot somehow. Oh, wait. There's a monkey up here? Oh, yeah, there is, right? Where's he at? I know he's up here. Shit, now, le fuck. Jesus. What? A wor what? I don't see him anywhere. It says he's hanging up on the thing. Oh, so let, me, let me get rid of my sky far. Hold up. Oh, he's down below. Yeah, I think you have to jump down. Yeah, you have to jump down here. Yeah, yep, there, there he is right there. Got his ass. Okay, excuse me. Yeah, this guy, he most certainly has a gun or something, because it's like military ones. <laughs> now the seal, that's a uh, melee entry. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that, oh my god, that, the, uh, I remember back in, it was, it was like 2019, I think, maybe 2020. And it said, say, what, what is seal in French, you ask Siri? And, um... It, it had me laughing because she said, in French, seal is fuck. <laughs> oh my god, I lost it. Like, the way she said fuck. Oh, jeez. But uh, EA has ruined the people who formed those studios and shut them down just because of the deadline. And the game didn't meet their ex ex expectations. Instead of correcting their mistakes, they go, they, they go all in. Yeah. yeah, EA has always been kind of a shady company, though. I mean, because I don't really play EA games too much, but... All I know is that they're basically, like, corporate greed, pretty much, like, they're nothing but microtransactions. Like, I don't even remember the last EA game I played, maybe, yeah, I don't know, I'd have to think, I don't know, I don't, I don't play EA games. I remember the thing, though, when it said, um, EA, something, like, isn't it, like, challenge everything or something like that, what's the thing, it's like, challenge everything, something like that, I can't remember, it was something like that, but then, of course, you got EA Sports, it's in the game. But, uh, has anyone heard the A Sports intro? But it's just, oh, yeah. Yeah, the E, 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 E. Oh, my God, that was funny. I seen that. And then he saw the Nintendo Switch and saw a 99p and thought, probably bullshit, but worth, worth it if it were. I mean, yeah. I mean, because from what I'm seeing, it seems legitimate so far. I mean, but it, even if I did get ripped off, I, it, it was a dollar that I lost, so I don't really care if I lost that dollar. I mean, because that dollar can be easily recovered. But, um, yeah. I mean, even if I did get ripped off, oh, well. Well, you know, it's, and you know, I did it through PayPal, so PayPal lets you uh, dispute charges. Like, if, if, if I did get ripped off, I could dispute it, but I don't know, though. I mean, because if you look at it at first glance, yeah, it seems way too good to be true. I mean, a, a Nintendo Switch OLED, it normally retails for $350 in the United States. But, you know, a system costing $0.99, cents, you sit there and think, no way in hell. But, I don't know. I mean, from what I'm seeing so far, it seems like it's actually legitimate, though. Because the Switch that I got, I didn't get to choose what it was. Like, it was, it's a Nintendo Switch OLED, but it's the Splatoon 3 edition. OLED, damn, that's already $500. Yeah, I mean, it depends on which version you get. But the thing that's disappointing is that the Switch OLED that I got, it doesn't come with a game. It's just like a Splatoon 3 themed Switch. That's all it is. It's not, there, there's no game with it. But uh, watch his kids show at 480p shouts, the pixels. I mean, nowadays kids probably complain if it's 1080p. You know what I'm saying? They're like, oh my god, 1080p is such bad graphics. Because I was actually on my PS3 last night. I was I was playing on my PS3 because I haven't used it in a while. But a Splatoon will be built in no matter what. Oh, jeez. I mean, yeah, sort of. But the Switch OLED is, um, is better than the original Switch because it has a bigger display. But on top of that, the, uh, the stand on the back of it is way better than the one on the original one. Because my friend was like, oh no, don't get the Switch OLED, it's not worth it. But from what I'm hearing, they say that it's worth it if you're a first-time user of the Switch. That's what I'm hearing. So I can't really speak on it, because I never owned a Switch. If it is a 10K, I ain't watching it. Yeah, pretty much. That's that's pretty much how kids are nowadays. It's like, oh yeah, 4K is so ugly. Can't do it. And I thought 4K was impressive. I still think 1080p looks pretty good. But um, I was on my PS3 last night, and the highest resolution the PS3 can support is 1080p. And... um. At 1080p, it's like, it looks very washed out, kind of, like, it looks like it's almost, like, painted on the screen, like, it's, looks very, almost, like, I can't describe it, like, it's almost like a, wait, it looks painted, I don't know, like, everything looks very painted on there, if that makes sense, 
And, um, I played a game on my, uh, because my TV is 4K, the one behind me is a 4K TV. And I was playing a game from, it, it was, it was WWE Smackdown vs. Raw 2010. And, um, it's like, it, it was, it was so hard to play because it was so pixelated. But, uh, not just the case, it was two game water anyway. Is it, really? Oh. Because from what, because when I heard every, every unboxing I've watched, people were like, oh no, it doesn't come with a game. Even if it doesn't come with a game, I, you know, I still bought three games for it already, so I'm not worried about it. I bought three games for the Switch. I have Assassin's Creed 3 for the Switch, um, Smash Bros. Ultimate, and, uh, what's the other one? Oh, Crash Bandicoot the Insane Trilogy, yeah. Yeah, the game that used to make me rage so hard, yeah, I bought that game for some dumb reason. I don't know. I don't know why, because, you know, I love Crash Bandicoot, but... Maybe, maybe it'll be, maybe it'll be better. Maybe, maybe I can do a redemption run. Oh, nice. I pushed the jump button. It didn't do shit. Smash Bros. Let's smash, nutty. Oh, for sure, dude. Yeah. I, I did buy Smash Bros. Ultimate, though, for the Switch. And, really, game? Gotta love it. I guess I didn't time my jump properly. Shit, go, Jimmy. There you go. I don't think... Yeah, see, I'm going the wrong way, because I'm going backwards, ain't I? Because, you're, yeah, you're not even supposed to make that jump, yeah. I'm going the wrong way. I'm going the wrong way. Way the wrong way. I'm going backwards. Like, see, like how the fuck did that happen? I thought I was going the right way. Guess not. But, uh, funny thing is, my copy of Splinter Cell 1, 2, and 3 ports are HD, but Splinter Cell Blacklist, which is the most recent Splinter Cell game, is not, and it's a 2013 game. Damn. Yeah, I've heard of Splinter Cell. I've never... I, I, I think I played one of the games back on the PS2, but that's actually pretty interesting. But uh, POV, it's 2001, it's 8 a.m., and you're doing work, complaints come towards you thinking you're... Oh, my God, dude. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that's fucked up. 9-11. You know what's fucked up? I was actually looking at that on the Assassin's Creed wiki, and 9-11 in the Assassin's Creed universe was... It was conducted by Templars, obviously, because, you know, Templars do shit like that. Like... World War 1 and 2 was started by Templars in the Assassin's Creed universe. Same with the Civil War. But, um... Yeah, it, it, it's it's kind of fucked up how they do that. Like, you know, George W. Bush, the United States president at the time, was a Templar. So, of course it was. Yeah, yeah, that's not very surprising. <laughs> I don't know where the fuck I'm supposed to be going, dude. I don't know. I'm running around aimlessly. I only have two monkeys left on this stage. Code Chimp. Which isn't bad. I mean, it's only two. But... I don't know, because I'm, I went backwards. How the fuck did I end up going backwards? What? Also, I gotta use this more often. Shit. But yeah, like, every big historical event you can think of in history was the doing of Templars. Like, pretty much in the Assassin's Creed universe. Like, World War One and Two, Templars. Adolf Hitler was assassinated by assassins in the Assassin's Creed universe. No, it was Desmond a trench coat. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, fuck. Can you imagine if Desmond wasn't a trench coat? This game is really annoying me now. Shit. Hold up. Yeah, the... the I, I think this is the harder part of the journey in Ape Escape games is going back and getting the remaining apes. I think that's the more difficult part. And also, I remember what I wanted to show you guys at the end of that stream last night. I wanted to show you guys the, uh... Because I have the Hitman trilogy on the PS2. And the discs are, like, brand new. They don't read. I can't get them to work. Oh, shit. Like, it's like, like, it'll, it'll read the disc, like, it'll say reading disc, and it just says the disc cannot be read. The disc is clean, it's like brand new. And in comparison, I can show you guys this disc, which is scratched the hell back, and look, here we are. That's the thing that cracks me up about the PS2. The PS2 is so inconsistent. Like, with the PS2, it's like, it'll read a disc that's scratched, but it won't read a game that's clean. That doesn't make any sense. That happened to, uh, VGPS, actually, because he had bought the Simpsons game for the PS2. Clean disc, went and read. I don't know if it's just the PS2 was just... Like, j janky? I know the PS2 Slim was kind of janky. Like, it had issues with this disc, uh, disc reading, but... Who knows, though? Because I always grew up on the PS2 Slim. I never had the fat PS2. So it only plays games that it wants to. Yeah, pretty much, basically. Like, I tried every game... Because it's, it's a trilogy. It comes with all three games. In a box, like a huge box. And, um... I put the... I, I tried all three games. They won't read. And then, um, Bully, I have Bully on PS2, it won't read, obviously, because the, the disc is just beyond scratched, it's, you know, it's, it's broken beyond repair. But, um, oh, they're in here. Oh, okay. I see his ass. Got him, there we go. <laughs> I found you, I found your ass, buddy. Keeble. What is he, the little Keeble elf? 
like the cookie, you know, the cookie things. Those things are good. Mm. So instead of water, guys, we got Splash Blast Lemon Water. It's actually really good. Oh my god. If this was the UK version, she'd say, Top Banana! <laughs> I love that. When she says Top Banana. But, um, yeah, the PS2 was, in my case, it just seems like a very inconsistent system. Like, I mean, it's, it's a nice system. I love the PS2. I grew up with it. But it just, it works when it wants to. And that's what I noticed. Like, you'll have a disc that's clean and it won't read it. And I remember when I bought Sly Cooper for the PS2. It, again, clean it wouldn't read. Just could, the disc could not be written. So in Resident Evil 4, you have to save the put president's daughter. And there's a costume for her that's a knight's armor. She can't be kidnapped or killed when she's wearing it. Oh, that's actually kind of overpowered. Holy shit. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Because I know Call of Duty had a mission like that. But if GameStop bought a disc repair and charged $15 to fix it, they'd make a fort. Yeah. Well, see, it's funny you mention that because um, a long time ago, I had when I still played GTA 5 on Xbox 360, uh, my disc was broken. Like, it was scratched. And uh, I went to this place called Family Video. It was like a video rental place. I don't know if it's still there, but they had a disc repair service. I think it was like a dollar to repair the disc. And they basically, they just rebuffered the disc, so it looked like it was brand new again. But it, uh, it still was having problems, even after they rebuffered it. But, um, I don't know. I mean, sometimes, it, like, the, the funny thing, because I have Manhunt 2 on the PS2 as well. And again, the disc is clean, but it reads that disc. That's the thing that doesn't make sense to me. Like, the, I'll even show you guys at the end, if, if you guys are still in here by the end. On the PS2, Manhunt 2 is clean. Reads no problem. Hitman, Hitman 1, 2, and 3, just as clean. Don't work. Nutty hates Manhunt 2. Yeah, I can't stand that game. I, like, I, I like the first Manhunt way better. Like, the only thing I liked about Manhunt 2 was just the GTA references, and that's it. I didn't really like the game by itself. Like, like I didn't care about Daniel Lamb. I didn't care about Leo Casper. Yeah, that I, I can't stand those games. But, um, or that game in particular. I, I love the first Manhunt game. But, uh, like, it try, I feel like it tried too hard. Like, like, it was more, like, it tried too hard with the narrative. It had more of a narrative than the first Manhunt game. But that's why I like the first one. It's more simplistic. Shit. Even if the disc is clean, it still won't read that. Remember it for later. Yeah. I mean, it... The PS2 is just a weird system. But from what I'm hearing, though, it seems to be a... A pretty widespread, widespread problem with the PlayStation 2. Like, like fat PS2s supposedly don't have as much of, like, as much of a hard time as reading discs as the uh, slim PS2. Because the, the disc mechanism is way different on the Slim PS2. But, uh, Huntman 2, oh my god. Yeah, pretty much. Huntman 2. Okay, let me pull out that monkey radar. We need that monkey radar. Woo, woo, woo. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, because last time you said, I'll show you at the end, we forgot. We, we forgot and you couldn't show. Yeah, I forgot all about it, yeah. Because I went back and I watched the stream. And then I was like, oh, that's what I wanted to show him, yeah. Yeah, I'll show you guys at the end if you guys are still here. The Hitman Trilogy. It doesn't read, but Manhunt 2 does. And same thing with Vice City Stories. I have Vice City Stories for the PS2. Queen, don't read. But then again, though, the interesting tidbit about uh, Vice City Stories on the PS2 is that at one point in time, it did read, but then one time it crashed and it wouldn't read after that, and it still won't. And that was like, what, like almost two years ago probably when I streamed that the first time. And then I did, I did a redemption run where I played it through an emulator, and that's when that whole thing with Jacob went down. But, um, I need that monkey radar every slave. Oh my god, yeah, it's like, I need that monkey radar. <laughs> but a Hitman trilogy, and even if the disc is clean, it still won't read things to remember. Yeah, we just gotta make... Matter of fact, you know what, let me pin your comment. I think you can pin comment. Can you? Yeah, pin message, okay. I pinned your message, so we won't forget about it. <laughs> yeah, so, literally, because I will forget if there's no reminders. Okay, so it's, it's pinned. Your comment's pinned. But, uh, yeah, it's... The, the PS2 is... I, I love the PS2 because I grew up on it. Like, that's, like, all I ever played. But it's just, it doesn't work whenever you want it to. Like, I'm surprised Ape Escape 2 even worked. I, I, was, I was getting ready to do an emulator because I, was, I, was, I wasn't expecting it to read. I was expecting it to just say, oh, this couldn't be read. But um, Midnight Club 3 Remix is amazing on the PS2 emulator. I would do events, and I would have played Midnight Club LA. It was an amazing game, but it wasn't successful or got a good review score. Yeah, I've heard good things about Midnight Club. Um, I've never actually played Midnight Club. I know that's kind of surprising, but... Because I'm pretty sure that's Rockstar, I think, it's Midnight Club. Oh, fuck. And the cool thing about Midnight Club is I think it has actual real-life car brands in it. Because people are always like, oh, how come GTA doesn't have real car brands? It just, it would be too expensive to buy the rights for it. 
but I do love Niles YouTube name though. Oh yeah, overrated Welsh bloke, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I am an overrated Welsh bloke. I don't deserve the fame I have. Yeah, hence the name overrated, you know. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me pull out my monkey radar here. Nice of you to join us again. Is that you, Miracle? What are you doing? Okay, cool. I'm joking. <laughs> ah, woman! Jesus Christ. Yeah, woman. We got a little bit of feminine touch in the in the stream. Oh my goodness. But yeah, um, if you guys do want to see Ape Escape 3, though, I can do Ape Escape 3, but just be warned. I don't really like Ape Escape 3 too much. But I do have it, though. Um, And I also have the first Ape Escape. If you guys want me to do a playthrough of that, I can. Oh, wait, he's... Oh, I know where he's at. Yeah, he's at the bottom, yeah. I know exactly where he is. What are you doing? Did you take your meds? You sure? Okay. Miracle, what are you doing? Did something happen down there? You sure? Okay, I'm just, just checking on you. You seem like you're upset about something. She's like, oh god, he's streaming again. My girlfriend is at her job, so I have my room available until 12. Oh, nice, dude. Nice. 12 o'clock. Or 12.30 a.m. Yeah. I'm not sure how late it is over there right now, because I know the UK is a little bit further ahead than uh, my time zone. Because the U.S. has different time zones as well. Like, my time zone would be Eastern, Eastern Standard Time, so right now it's 6.36 p.m. Shit, but uh, 11.26 p.m. Okay, so you got a little over an hour. But yeah, people had a hard time with the difficulty of the game. Still, it was a good game, but not good in sales. This is the first time they got, that they go all in buying the licenses for the car brands in the game. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool that they did that, because, um, like I said, you know, people always wondered why GTA never had... Uh, real car brands, but it's it's simply because it'd just be too expensive. But I'm um, five hours ahead of you. Damn. And see, Liam, his I'm not sure what his time zone is, but yeah, I'm an hour ahead of. Oh, okay, yeah, never mind. He just he just answered my question. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sh oh, damn. Well, yeah. So, right now where I live, it is 6:37 p.m. right now. So yeah, I would my, my my time zone would be Eastern Standard Time, and then you also have uh, Central Time, which I think is. I'm not sure where central time is. I feel like an idiot. Time zones. Epic six. Oh, I forgot all about him. Because we caught that monkey over here named Cameron the other day. Or yesterday, my bad. But yeah, CJ costs money. Oh, God. Yeah, see, literally Carl Johnson. This is <laughs> oh, my God. CJ! Yeah, see, I was playing um, WWE uh, SmackDown vs. Raw 2010 last night. And I was, I was making, because the, the highlight of those games, in my opinion, is, is when you can create a wrestler. Because, like, you can make some, you can basically make any character you want to. And I made pretty much all of the Rockstar characters. Like, I made CJ, Tommy, Claude, uh, Leo Casper, Daniel Lim, James Earl Cash, all of them. It was hilarious, like, how they were, like, slamming each other and shit. But I think, um, Central European time. Oh, okay, yeah. Damn. That's crazy. I'm just... Eastern Standard Time, that's that's all I am. A fun fact is that there used to be a glitch on the first Ape Escape game. You can still do it, but there's an infinite jump glitch you can do. And it's it's still possible to do, but you can't do it on the PSP version. Because it's, they, I guess they patched it, like they fixed it. Because the PSP release was more of a, like kind of like a remaster. And it has like better voice acting and shit. But like I said, the strange thing is that in the UK, uh, Jake is named Buzz in, on Ape Escape. I don't know why. The rules say no racism, political talk, or about religion. Let's talk about the Muslim bombers. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, we just proceed to talk about that. Wait, where's that one area at? Shit. I'm over here running around aimlessly. Hold up. Okay. Yeah, but I, I try to, you know, limit talking about those things, though, because, um... Oh my god, that frame rate. Jesus Christ, man, you were over here playing at fucking 2 FPS. <laughs> but, um... I try to limit stuff like that because, you know, that's just... It's just a good way to piss somebody off. When I first played Siphon Filter Dark Mirror, I hated the controls. Yeah, I, I, I've, I've had a few games like that. That's the biggest complaint I see with people that play Manhunt the first time. At least on the PS2. Like, every time I... My, my friend was like, oh, this game has weird controls. Because, I mean, it kind of does, though. I mean, because in Manhunt 1, to sprint, you have to hold R1, which is pretty... Because in the GTA games, you just tap X to run, but in Manhunt, you have to hold R1. But, uh, what's long, hard, and screws old women? Uh, Aster... Aster... Per oh my god, that... I cannot pronounce shit. Oh my god, jump! <clears throat> okay, I made it. But, uh, CJ's a millionaire now, and his story's a mystery, because we don't know where he is 
at right now, but the story for the game was deep and it was somewhat related. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I mean, we can ast astaoporosis. Oh, yeah, yeah. See, thank you for that because my idiot brain wouldn't have allowed me to pronounce that. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that is true. I mean, the only thing we can really presume about CJ after the events of San Andreas is that he is just, he, he just has a shitload of money and that's it. We don't know whatever happened to him after that. that he's not mentioned at all, really, like in any other GTA game. I mean, there's Easter eggs, but they don't ever make direct mentions of him. Because, you know, that's something I always thought about. Because, you know, I'm not trying to be funny when I say this, but Manhunt is set 11 years after San Andreas. And, I mean, I've always sat there and wondered, I'm like, I wonder if CJ's still alive when this game takes place. Who is trans, where's buttless chaps, whose name begins with J? I have no idea. <laughs> wait, oh, wait, it's, it's going off if I point it. Wait, it's pointing down. Hold on a second. What? I'm so confused. Hold up. I actually found this uh, YouTuber not too long ago. His name is James Charles. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, I know exactly who the fuck that is. Oh, no, not him. Jesus Christ. Yeah, he's... I can't stand him. He's annoying. But, um... There's a YouTuber I found. His name is My Mate Vince. And, uh, I'm pretty... I think he's from the UK, I think. But he's... He, like, fixes electronics and stuff. His videos are actually pretty good. Like, he, he'll, he'll fix, like, Xboxes that are stuck. Like, I, I remember he did a video where he fixed an Xbox One that was stuck in 480p or some shit. I don't know. But yeah, I know exactly who James Charles is. Okay, there's nothing over here then. This is... I hate this level. Skyscraper City. Hold up. It's pointing down. I'm so confused right now. Hold on a second. Because there's an elevator over here, but it doesn't... Th there's no exit. At least I don't see one. There should be an exit. Because why would it take me down if it's just going to be... Oh, it's over here. Go, go, go. There we go. Okay. I mean, I'm actually kind of surprised Dorian didn't tune in last night. Because, you know, usually nine times out of ten, Dorian is like one of the first ones to be. Well, not first ones, but he's he's usually a part of the regular crowd, if that makes sense. The people that usually tune in all the time, but... Okay. Born again idiot. I like how it just said born again idiot. <laughs> the 480p PTSD is kicking in. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, 480p is is a pretty rough resolution because I have a, a webcam. Uh, actually, it's oh, it's it's not. It was it was on the floor last time I saw it, but um, I have a webcam that I bought for seven dollars, and it's it the maximum resolution on it is 480p. It's it looks really bad. Like it's it looks very badly, because the camera that I have right now is 1080p. It's a 1080p camera. I just don't stream at 1080p because my PC it, it can handle it, but it's it's just not worth it. Because it makes uh, streams buffer and shit for some people with bad internet. Like, because if you guys remember Random Polish Guy, he came in there one time and he's like, oh, your stream is lagging like crazy, but it was it was completely fine. And I think it was because I was streaming at 1080p and I didn't realize it. And, you know, with, when people have worse internet, you know, it kind of affects the quality, like the higher the resolution. The max resolution on here is 720p. Yeah, yeah. But the camera still gets the point across, you know. Oh, shit. But I stream at 720p just for convenience, just so it's not as much tax on my PC. What? Oh, is that the camera? Oh. Yeah, this? Look at that. That is, that is a 480p webcam. 480p. And the even worse part, too, is that it's zoomed in. So whenever you use it, it's like, it, like all you would see is my nose and my eye, probably. <laughs> like, it looks really bad. I bought it for $7, so, you know, I got what I paid for, but still. And then I bought this one that I have now, which is significantly better than that webcam because it's 1080p but on ps5 i stream 1080p 60 fps oh nice 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 so your internet is uh capable of it i mean because i'm pretty sure my internet can handle it but i don't know if my pc can i mean the one time i did stream at 1080p and it was it was okay for the whole time but i think in a few spots it did drop a few frames just, it's probably because my internet's not uh, sufficient enough but 720p is you know it suffices you know it gets the point across so I mean, it's 720p is just kind of like that sweet spot. Because then you got those people that stream as high as 4K, which that is definitely not necessary. Because, I mean, if you have the, if you have the, I guess, the proper processing power, go for it. But at the end of the day, it's not worth it. It's actually going to shoot you in the foot because you're kind of holding back the, the amount of people that can watch your stream. Because if, you know, typically when you start a stream, it's going to play at the maximum resolution. And, um... The higher the resolution, the more the more it's going to buffer, especially if the internet's not very good on their end. So, yeah. 
you have to kind of be careful with what resolution you stream at. So 720p is kind of like the, it's it's the niche spot, you know, it's just the, just, just right. You know, it's not too hot, not too cold. So, yeah, 720p, I've been streaming at 720p for pretty much since the beginning. But 720p 60 is just whenever I stream on PC. Because, you know, gotta get that 60 FPS goodness going, so. <laughs> oh my goodness. Speaking of which, I need to get a new PC, though. I do. Like, this PC, it, it does its job okay, but it is it is pretty dated. It slows down a lot of the time, and it's, it, like, it's it's good enough, but it's it's not as good as I want it to be, though. On my phone, this streams, this streams 480p max. Really? Huh. That's strange. Yeah, I'm streaming at 720p. I don't know. Oh, fuck. Yeah, because the other day, I was confused because a uh, random Polish guy had come in, and he's like, oh, your stream is chugging right now. I'm like, huh? Like, because I looked at it, it was, there was no drop frames or anything. I'm like, yeah, dude, that's probably your end. Okay. I don't know where I'm going right now. I hate this level. Easily the worst level in this game, in my opinion. I'd rather do moon base than this shit. Fuck this. You okay over there? You don't even watch my stream. You just sit there and play on your phone. I'm joking. <laughs> How dare you? I'm kidding. You can... What? What did I do? Oh my goodness. Yeah, but, um, I might have to come back for this. How many more monkeys do I have in this level? I have two. Running in circles. Gotta love it. I think I've completed maybe three levels since the stream started. <laughs> oh my god, I'm not making any pros. I now have an excuse to ride a motorcycle. I want milk for cereal. That's, yeah, that sounds like a pretty valid excuse. But then again, though, let's just hope you come back. No, I'm joking. You, you, you understand the joke, like, my dad went to the store to get milk and I haven't seen him since. Oh my god. Last week, my YouTube was buffering, but it was the entire YouTube night. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes YouTube goes down sometimes. Because, um, I don't know. My store is five miles away. Oh, damn. That's not terrible, I guess. I mean, that's... I mean, it could be six miles away. Could be ten. Oh, my lord above. Can I just go up, please? Fuck. There we go. Okay, which way? No, the only way to go is this way, right? Ay ay ay. I might have to come back to this level. Cause I don't I don't know where these last two are at. Wait. Oh wait, no, wait, no, wait, is this Wait a minute, hold on a second. There's a hidden monkey inside the wall. Cause sometimes they could be they're hidden inside the wall. But there is another monkey running around somewhere. I just don't know where he's at though. Hold up. Gotta use the RC car again. <laughs> I think it's funny how you get this game, or this uh, gadget very early in this game, but... Oh my god, the camera's... It's, it, the camera's literally fighting me right now, it's like, nope. Nope, not today. But, um... Yeah, in, in the first day of escape, you get the RC car, like, way late in the game. It's like near the end, I think. Which I think is, it's, it's kind of interesting why they give it to you. So, oh, it's right there, okay. There we go. Oh, you motherfucker, my nearest store is four kilometers, my school is a mile away. Damn! Jeez. Rory? Rory. <laughs> okay, then. That's quite the name. Hi, my name is Rory. I was an Ape Escape monkey. I volunteered for Ape Escape 2. And I was captured by Jimmy. This is my story. No, I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, I miss, I miss Spike, though. I know they brought him back in a few games, but like his design was completely changed and shit. Because they put him in PlayStation All-Stars, which I think is kind of interesting, because he's like the last character I would expect to see in a game like that. But, yeah, in that game, though, his like, his hairstyle and stuff is completely different. It's like he wears a jacket and shit. I'm like, oh, jacket? Why doesn't he have that original shirt he used to wear? I just, and plus his nose is gone. But then again, though, I don't think Spike ever had a nose, I don't think. But he does cameo at the end of this game. I think when you get all the monkeys, he shows up in the last cutscene, which is pretty cool. Because he has Jimmy's cousin at the end of the day, so it makes sense. Okay. And you can also play as Spike in this game if you get all the monkeys. It doesn't change anything story-wise. It, it's it's more of just a cosmetic difference, really. All it really does is just nothing. It's just a reskin of Jimmy, and it, he has like a different voice and stuff like that, like different voice lines and stuff. That's really about it. Oh my God, I like how he references um the events of the first tape escape, though. Spike does in the end cutscene. He's like, first I kick his tail, and then he comes back and gets beaten by Jimmy. I like how he said that. Jesus. Okay. Fun fact, Animal Crossing characters don't have eyebrows. Oh, yeah, they don't. Yeah, now that you point that out, I actually just noticed that. Wow. 
Yeah, they really don't have opera. Okay, so Houston, we have a problem. I don't know where this last monkey's at. He's not showing up on the radar anymore. I already captured everything here, so... That's why I hate this level, because you're just running in circles half the time. Wait a minute, I have to get to that one area. The, the one where that monkey was up inside of the traffic light. I have to... I don't remember how to get there, though. Ugh, fuck, I hate this fucking level. It's kind of like the TV tower from the first one. But yeah, he referenced the events of the first tipscape. Tom Nuke is a menace to society. Who's, uh, who's that, Tom Nuke? <laughs> Tom Nuke. Every nook and cranny, look. Oh, shit. Look in every nook and cranny. You ever, you ever hear people say that, nook and cranny? <laughs> I love when people say that shit. Hey, Miracle, you okay? Okay. Can you help me find this ape escape monkey? No, it's... We could, you, I don't think either of us are going to be able to do it, because he's not showing up on the radar, and I keep running in circles, too. There's no tell. I don't fucking know, dude. I really don't know. Whoa. <laughs> but me, are you touching yourself? Nutty Ape's mind. I've been caught on 4K. Oh my god, <laughs> Jesus, what the fuck? Oh shit, Semperfy, yeah. I thought, honestly though, I thought that was Zombie Collector at first. Because, um, the Zombie Collector usually has names like that, like Call of Duty related shit. So that's why I thought that was Zombie Collector. Okay, you know what, I have to come back to this level, because I don't know where that last monkey is. He's one of the most important characters in it. Oh. Oh, yeah, see, I didn't know that, because I actually never played Animal Crossing. I know what Animal Crossing is, I just never played it. But, uh, okay, let's do the Lost Valley. But, uh, 720p. 720p. What do you mean? You, you're talking about the live stream? Oh, there's three monkeys left. Hmm. Check every nook and cranny, motherfucker. <laughs> Jesus. But, yeah, I like how Spike referenced the events of... Oh, replying to Semperfly. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, he caught me in 720p, haha. -ha. Shit. But, uh, that is true, though. Um, in, in the last cutscene in this game, when Spike shows up, he, he indirectly mentions the events of the first Ape Escape. Because he says, first I kick this tail, because you know you play as Spike in Ape Escape 1. So that's pretty cool. And then Ape Escape 3 came out a few years after this game. And it's not really as good, in my opinion. I got the milk. Well, damn, that was fast. <laughs> that was like maybe two, three minutes. Jesus Christ. Holy shit, dude. Oh, wait, how did I miss him? But, uh, I'm gonna head to bed. Oh, yeah, for sure, dude. I understand. But, uh, thanks for, uh, checking into the stream, Liam. I appreciate you. But, uh, do I get Honey Nut Cheerios or Lucky Chip? Uh, I mean, that's all down to personal preference. I can't really speak on that, dude. Oh, shit. What did he just shoot me with? Nice. There we go. Yeah, I was gonna say fucking thing. But, uh, see you tomorrow, hopefully. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure, dude. Yeah, I hope to see you too, man. You know, anytime you want to tune in, you know, it's not really... A contest, you know, you just show up when you can, you know? But a Lucky Charm. Oh, honestly, I would get Lucky Charms then. I mean, but that, like I said, you know, it's, it is personal preference. I mean, just get what you want to get. But if it was between Cheerios and Lucky Charms, yeah, Lucky Charms. Lucky Charms has has those marshmallows in them. But see, the funny thing is, I saw a thing, I don't I don't know how true it is, but a Lucky Charms it is, hell yeah. I'm actually, I actually kind of want some now, I like Lucky Charms. But, um, the funny thing is, are you touch yourself or... Why are we talking about touching ourselves? The f <laughs> I mean, we've talked about weirder shit on this channel, so I don't know. But uh, what's up, Dorian? How you doing, man? Hope you're uh, doing good. But uh, only to you. Oh my god. I need to get up there, don't I? Yeah. But, uh... Yeah, so... I was gonna say, I would choose Lucky Charms because, you know, it has better flavor than Cheerios. I like Cheerios, but... You know, Lucky Charms has more sugar, but fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, fuck. No. I hate how they, I like how they just run away. Nothing much about the, do know, the BO4 zombie easter egg soon. Oh, damn, nice, dude. Sounds like fun. Which, uh, which one are you gonna do? You going for Blood of the Dead? If you're going for Blood of the Dead, God be with you. That's all I can say. God be with you. <laughs> I still have, I, I still have never done a Black Ops 4 easter egg. I did all the BO3 ones, but I never did Black Ops 4, though. But, uh, alright, I'm not gonna speak. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'm not, I'm just not gonna talk. Yeah. But, um, what I was gonna say was, is, I don't know if... They have it, probably not. Oh, yeah, the IX. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, because, um, I'm gonna drive and not crash, hopefully. Yeah, yeah, just focus on the roads. Don't don't focus on the streets. Like, haha, that was funny. And then you're just like, oh shit, losing control. And then you crash. No, I'm joking. Don't do that. That's not funny. 
I shouldn't be making jokes like that, because I seriously, I did lose a cousin in a car accident a couple years ago. But, um, anyways, uh, there, there's a bag that you can buy of Lucky Charms, but it's it's not the actual cereal. It's actually the, um, just the marshmallows by themselves, I think, which is pretty cool. But I don't like the marshmallows enough to do that, you know what I mean? Because, I mean, the marshmallows are good, but, I don't know. That's a knee slap. Oh, 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 fuck my knee. Oh, fuck, I can't slap, I can't slap my knee. But yeah, yeah. That's going to be a consequence if you don't focus on the road. Oh, shit. Yeah, Mob of the Dead will be one I will do, but that will be later on. Yeah, Mob of the Dead is, uh, is, an, is a very, very easy strike. It's, it's significantly easier than Blood of the Dead. Because I did Mob of the Dead, I think, once, like, a couple years back. But, uh, all right, well, see you in a minute. Oh, yeah, for sure, dude. Because, <laughs> um, how many easter eggs I've done? I've done, hold on, ah, my ear. I did Ascension, Call of the Dead, Shangri-La, Moon. Uh, I di I've only done the Origins easter egg and Mob of the Dead. I, I didn't do any of the uh, Victus easter eggs, though. Because, um, like, th basically the Transit crew, I never did their easter egg. Because they were always four player only, I think. But, uh, oh, I meant Blood of the Dead. I'll get to oh, oh, okay, yeah. Well, uh, all I can say to you, dude, in terms of Blood of the Dead, is just Godspeed. That's all I can say. Godspeed. Like, God, God be with you. Because Eddie Strike is... is rough. It's rough. Have you ever watched Tasty Cools? I heard it's an awesome animation series by Saibmaz, Zombies, and Bat... Yeah, no, I never heard of that. Sounds interesting enough, though. Damn, I kind of want to jump on Zombies now. Because for a while I was back in the Zombies, but then I kind of dropped it again. I'm gonna have to play some zombies again. It's a, uh, it's, it's a fun game mode, like, I like zombies, but the easter eggs kind of make me hate it, though. I mean, obviously you don't have to do the easter eggs, but, like, I don't know. When it comes to easter eggs, I'm more of the guy who just kills the zombies. Yeah, yeah, I see, like, you're just kind of like the guy that just kind of just does what the game mode is about. Yeah, like, you don't really do the steps, I get it. Austin is the one doing the step. Yeah, yeah, I feel it. Damn, if I had BO4 and I had Xbox Live, I would try to jump on with you guys, but... I don't, I don't have either of them, so. <laughs> but if I did, I would, I would jump on with you guys, if you would want me to. That is, but actually, I don't even have a headset. I mean, I have a headset, but it's the one I'm wearing right now. But it's a piece of crap headset, though. I think I paid ten dollars for it. I just needed a quick, easy headset. That's all I need. Hold on. Oh, you motherfucker! Get up off me. Hold on a second. Where's the? There has to be, like, there's, there's a monkey hidden around here somewhere. Hold up. There's one monkey left, yeah. I don't know where he's at, though. Oh, fuck. There's always that one monkey that kicks my ass. I can't ever find him. Jesus. He's hidden somewhere. He's got to be inside of the wall. Because that's why I'm using that camera so much. It tells you where there's a monkey at. The first Ape Escape didn't have that, so I'm kind of grateful that this game does. But, um... Yeah, there's a step in Blood of the Dead. It's like, you have to use the... It's like something, like like a... What is that thing called? Oh, oh, a telegram? Yeah, it's a telegram. And it's like, you basically have to know Morse code to do it. It's it's, it's like one of the dumbest fucking steps ever. But only 0.43% of players have completed the Dead of the 90s straight. Oh, shit, wow. So not a lot of people have done it, so I'm part of that now. Yeah, I'm... Part of the none, because I never did that Easter egg. <laughs> I actually don't have BO4 anymore. Um, I had it for the PS4, but I I got rid of it, because I, I I just don't like that game that much. I don't really like Black Ops 4. It's not a bad game, it's just... The, the zombies mode is... It, it's just not my thing. I, I don't like the perk system. I don't like how you have a health bar. It's just it's stupid. I don't like it. But I do I do have to say, though, Blood of the Dead is, is a cool map. Like I like the, the Easter egg on it. But the Easter egg is, it was clearly meant, it wasn't meant for solo players at all. Because when I tried to do it, I just did, I tried to do it by myself. And I think I got to maybe the second step and I, I gave up on it and I died. I just I said, fuck it, I'm not doing this shit. Because um, the thing that makes that Easter egg so hard is just how long it is. Like, there's, there's so many steps and it's like, like, when I was on the second step, I was like, maybe round 17, maybe? And then this guy's on round round seven on the second. I'm like, how the fuck? I have to be doing something wrong here. I have to be doing something wrong because it's t it's it's taking me way too long to get to the the steps. Because I've seen the boss fight. I've seen the boss fight on YouTube. You, I think it's like you have to fight Brutus. I think. But the cool thing about Blood of the Dead is that it's actually set um, after Zetsubu no Shima canonically. 
it's it's set before Gorot Krovi. Like it's it's like in between. Because if you remember, in the uh, Bo3 Easter egg on Zetsubunoshima, but uh, yeah, it's the war. Yeah, yeah. Because I've seen it on YouTube, but um, on Bo3 though, there's a part in the Easter egg on Zetsubunoshima after you complete the boss. There's a part where they teleport. And in that teleport screen, that's like all of Blood of the Dead was taking place when they teleported there. So it's it's set after Zetsubunoshima, but before Garot Grovey. But on Need for Speed Undercover was my love for music in the game. I heard Diamond Life by Taiga. It was an amazing song they played when I would do an event. Oh yeah, I've heard uh, Need for Speed has a good soundtrack. I'm literally walking in circles right now. Oh, he's up there. He's up there. I uh, got your ass, motherfucker. I'm gonna fall. Yeah, just fall. Whatever. Damn it. <laughs> I fell to my doom. In the first Ape Escape, if you uh, fell, was, I like ZNS more than. Yeah, me too. Me too. I hate Gorot Krovi. I mean, it's like, if you play it for its survival aspect, it's not bad. But the Easter egg in that map is just. I can't. Like, I, I did it solo twice, and then, yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing that Easter egg ever again. Because I thought about doing it again on PC, on stream. Because I got the season pass for the uh, PC version. So I have Gorak Krovi on PC, but I hate that map's Easter egg so much. Like, even even in solo, that Easter egg is a pain in the ass. Because th there's a step that you have to do with the bombs, and if you don't defuse the bombs, you're done. Like, that's it. Game over. But, uh, KT4 ray gun Mark III. Now, see, it's funny, because I feel like I'm in the minority, because I actually really like the Mark III ray gun. I mean, it was basically just a curse device. Like, the, a handheld curse device, but I mean, the KT4 was pretty cool, too. Or the Mass Immune. The upgraded version, which is, it's blue instead of green. But a cool thing is that there's an easter egg in, um, ZNS worth, I think if you get to round 50, if you look, if you look outside the map, you can see a monster, like a creature. It's, it's actually a really cool easter egg. Hmm. Monkeys caught. I caught all the monkeys. I got some miracle look, she has red hair. I'm joking. <laughs> what? Oh, are you mad at me? Jesus, woman. That's that redhead or that ginger aggression. Okay. I like that the KT4 isn't more of a trap weapon. It does not that. Yeah, that's true. That's true. It's sort of like the, um, the Thunder Gun. I'm pretty sure the Thunder Gun is an infinite damage weapon. Although I could be wrong. Yeah, I need to save my game. Save it. But, um, alright, I'm home. I think. You, you, you think? He's like, he just walks in the wrong house. It's like, who's that? <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, but, um, it is. Oh, it, so the Thunder Gun is an infinite damage. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool, actually. I'm missing a monkey in that level. I don't know where it is, though. I have to come back to it. Land of the Apes. You should hear the song, because it is an amazing song in a time when a lot of artists had more care for the music they would produce than now. Yeah, I'll have to check it out, because some games have good soundtracks. Like, I know that Midnight Club and stuff has, like, pretty good soundtrack. But I caught all the monkeys to slave on it. Oh my god, dude. Jesus Christ. Yeah, the, just, just... Black. I'm, 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 I'm a black man. No, I'm joking. I mean, I'm sort of black. Not really. I'm actually more white than anything. I think my ancestry said I'm like maybe 20 or 30 percent black. That's it. Because I have mostly African ancestry. Oh shit. If anything, most of my ancestry is European. Like I'm mostly British. That's my thing. So I'm mostly British. Or British. And I'm a little bit of Swedish too. Swedish fish. Every time I think of Swedish, I just think of Swedish fish. Oh my god. But, yeah, I think I'm home. I'm 99% positive. Okay. Yeah, like, you just walk into your house, it's like, I think I'm home. I'm not sure, though. No, <laughs> Oh, God. Yeah, but, um... I do want to complete Blood of the Dead, but it's just... It's such a painstaking Easter egg, though. Like, it's... There's so many steps in that Easter egg that it just... Like, I sit there and think, I'm like, why? Like, just why? Your mom whiter than the earth, oh, well, JK. Huh? <laughs> Have you ever seen a picture of Earth, Semperfy? <laughs> I don't think, the, I mean, the Earth is partially white because of the clouds in the atmosphere. But yeah, but that 1% could be Stranger's home and me making some monkey chat. Oh yeah, that's true. You might have accidentally walked into a street. Oh, how did I miss this section last time? Okay. F Felipe. Felipe. But what are you doing, huh? Oh shit, I'm in the wrong house. Have the lucky charms. Just don't call the police. <laughs> yeah, he's like, no, no, here, you take it. You see, it's crazy because the other day I went to the store and like the economy is just fucked right now, like in the United States, like the US economy is in shambles because of inflation, like inflation is ridiculous, I went to the store with Miracle the other day, and um, 
I wanted to go get because they they have these things. It's um, it, it's it's Frank's Red Hot Chicken Bites. Like they're, they're really good. Like they're like basically boneless chicken, but it's like it's covered with uh, Frank's Red Hot sauce, and it's actually pretty good. And uh, I went to the store and I bought it, a box this big, this big, six dollars. It came with like twelve chicken tender thingies. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. And I got myself a candy bar too. And everything that I got from the store, I got maybe four things. It was all twelve dollars. Like that is insanity, dude. This economy's fucked. But uh no, this is my house. <laughs> the staff of Roz Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about, yeah. From nine, yeah. But uh it looks identical. I'm gonna eat some lucky charms. Oh yeah, for sure. I've got time to fuck with you on this thing. Oh, Oh my god. <laughs> no. What's that? Wait, wait, I missed a monkey over here, didn't I? Oh, he's frozen in ice, yeah. Where's he at, though? Oh, he's over there. So, yeah, there was... Yeah, see, I knew I wasn't crazy. I'm like, yeah, there has to be a monkey over here. But, um... Yeah, so like I said, the next room I do after this, because I'm going to be finishing this tonight, I'm probably thinking of doing a chill stream tomorrow, I think. So I think we'll just kind of chill out and just do a chill stream. But, um... The Sword of Sorrow was the best for the main crew maps. The Sword of Sorrow. Yes, yeah, see, I don't, I don't remember that one. Gotcha. But uh, time to switch to mobile to enjoy some lucky charms and miss nothing. Oh my god, yeah, it's just like time to switch to mobile. But because uh, of the invisible effect. Yeah, this is all foreign to me. I don't, I don't really know. <laughs> oh my god, I just, I just miss the old days of Kino, man. You know, Kino the Toten. I miss those days so much. Cause uh, Kino the Toten was, oh, tax. Oh, yeah. I know what you're talking about now. Yeah, Takio's sword, yeah. Because I, I forgot that you could, like, he'll, like, put his fingers on the blade, and then it's, like, he'll, uh, it, like, he'll be invisible, yeah. I forgot all about that. You know what I think is funny is, um, in, you, the first map you could use Takio's sword was in Revelations, but it's, like, you had to jump through so many hoops to use it. It's, like, it's at his side, just fucking use it. Oh, my God, it's, like, he had that sword for so many years. Yet, he never used it. He's like, oh, I'm out of ammo! Uh, maybe use that fucking katana that you have? <laughs> oh my god. But, uh, the US is in shambles right now because of the 2008 crash, and even though things are looking good, but now this year... Yeah, like, inflation is just bad right now. Like, like a, a family pack of Oreos, like, you know, like the family size one? Five dollars. For, for a, a pack of Oreos? Are you kidding me? Because I usually get those pretty often because I love Oreos. Oh, shit. But I smashed someone's wind mirror because he tried running me off the road and almost caused a car accident. Jesus Christ. Yeah, brake check. I'm joking. Oh, fuck. But, um, my wrist is hurting like a motherfucker. Yeah, I would imagine. You okay? Okay. I'm just checking on you, Miracle. It's... I have to be safe. What are you doing? <laughs> well, this war that the USA is putting money into isn't helping it. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Oh, fuck. Because I usually don't discuss politics on my channel, but, you know, it is kind of known to me, because it just... It's been pissing me off, because it's like, things I used to be able to afford, I can't afford anymore. I mean, because my mom was even complaining about it. Because even she said that she used to be able to get, like, $300 worth of groceries, and it would last, like, at least a month. But nowadays, $300 worth of groceries? Last maybe two weeks. Oh, shit. Well, that fucking... That was a fail. But, um, there was no break check. Almost a fucking smash test. Yeah, yeah, just... Oh, I'm pretty, yeah, he's busy, yeah. He's good, Miracle Jeremy. Yeah, he's busy. But, um, what's up? But, uh, luckily it was my left hand. Yeah, he's like, it's not my main hand, it's my, it's my, my, my less dominant hand. But, um, oh yeah, speaking of which, on that WWE SmackDown vs. Raw game, I was playing it on my PS3, and I forgot that I had made Rock Lee on there. And it was, it was so funny, because I, I did a Royal Rumble match, and he was one of the contestants on there. And I, I was playing a CJ, and I eliminated him. It was the funniest shit, because, like, he flew out of the fucking ring. I laughed so hard. I'm like, damn, my man, the, the Taijutsu master just got fucking knocked out. Oh, my God. But, um, because I was returning home. U.S., there's no way you can feed a family for... I mean, yeah, that's true. That doesn't even seem possible anymore. Hold up. Craig? Yeah, fun fact, for those that don't know, uh, the voice actor of Jimmy in this game is the same voice for Ash from, uh, Pokemon. Ash, catch him. Oh, he's up there. Okay. There we go. 
the music in this game is something else, but I still think the first game has a way better soundtrack. Man, I love Ape Escape. It's, it's such a good game. It makes me so mad that they never made any more sequels for it. Because there was... Oh, not you. I didn't know he was in this game. Oh, he had a gun and a rocket pack. Rupert? <laughs> Rupert the, mon the monkey. Oh my god. Ash Ketchum. No, Ash Ketchup. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, not Ash Ketchum. Hmm. So is that Miracle as an anime character, basically? Because you, you guys both have red hair, so I mean... No, I'm joking. <laughs> what? What do you... Get that highlighter out of your mouth. Or choke on it. Yeah, it's Stu, Stewie Griffin's pet monkey, Rupert. Yeah, instead of a teddy bear, it's... It's, it's, it's a fucking uh, monkey. Okay. Oh, this is trippy. 12 out of 20 monkeys. Oh, I have a lot left. Shit. But as we get further back, there will be less we have to catch because it will be smaller levels. But we still have to go back and get that one at Skyscraper City, because I don't know where the fuck that monkey is at. He's in parts unknown, apparently. Miracle knows something else she could choke on. Oh my god, dude. Christ alive. <laughs> what did you just say? Miracle, don't, I'm not even going to say nothing, because that's just nobody's business right there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, what? Oh yeah, I have to go up, yeah. Oh, it's that one room. I know exactly where that room is. At least I think so. But, um... Yeah, so, for those that don't know, I don't know if anybody st here still has a PlayStation 3. But, for a while, Sony was considering shutting down the PlayStation Store on the PS3 as well as the PS Vita. But they didn't do it. But, here's the thing, here's the catch. So, you can no longer make direct purchases on the PS Store. What you have to do is you have to add funds to your wallet, and I don't know why it's like that. Because last night I was, I was getting ready to buy Fatal Frame on the PS, PS3 because... You know, that game on the PS2 is absolutely ridiculous. I'm not paying $80 for a PS2 game, only for it to not work. So I just bought a digital download of, of it for $10 off the PlayStation Store. And, um, it, it was, it, it's ridiculous because it's like, oh, you can only make this purchase with funds from in your wallet. Wait, <sighs> she's going all in. You, Oh my God, dude. Christ. No, but, um, so I ended up buying Fatal Frame on the PS3. And I'm really excited because I'm actually going to continue that playthrough because I couldn't finish that playthrough because Miku kept getting stuck on the fucking door so I couldn't get anymore. But, um, yeah, they also had Fatal Frame 2 and 3. I'm going to have to get those games too. Because for, for those that don't know what Fatal Frame is, it's based off of a, um, a real-life Japanese mythology thingy, like, like a myth, like a legend. And it's called Himuro Mansion. And it's supposedly a real mansion where a lot of tragedies happen, like murders and shit, so it's like, it's it's widely believed to be extremely haunted. And so it's, they made a game based off of it, and you, you play, at the start you play as her brother, Miku's brother, and he goes inside of the mansion for some idiotic reason, and he gets trapped in there, and you have to save him, like you, you play as this girl named Miku, and you have to go inside of this old Japanese mansion and you have to fucking save him, but there's these ghosts that try to kill you and shit. And you, you have to use a fucking camera to kill the ghosts. Like, it's, you can tell the game was made by Japanese people. Because it's like, strange ideas like that. Like, a, a fucking camera killing a ghost. But, uh, I'm a dumbass. I would just made some monkey charms and ate it with my helmet on. I hit it and knocked some- Aw, oh, I hate that shit. That shit pisses me off. Like, I remember the one time, I forget, it was a few days ago, I got so mad because I- was I was I, I made something and I spilled it all over the floor. I'm like you, ugh, you fucking kidding me? <laughs> but uh, my fucking lucky charm. Yeah, the lucky charms are not so lucky charms now. But Fatal Frame is a uh, interesting game. It's it's a rather obscure game, but the reason I bought that digital download is because people had listings on eBay for it on the PS2. But it's it's like they were charging like sixty seventy dollars. I'm not I'm not paying that much for a PS2 game. No thank you. But yeah, I'm gonna be streaming that pretty soon because I want to do AC3. I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna get to Assassin's Creed 3 when I get my Nintendo Switch. But um, I think I'm gonna do Fatal Frame before I do AC3 because like I want to, I want to finish that game. Uh, Fatal Frame. Oh, oh, there he is. But uh, that one isn't magically delicious. Yeah, that one was. It's like how fucking magically delicious. I spilled my fucking cereal. Like <laughs> scratchy, scratchy the monkey. But, um, wait, where's he at? Oh, he's up there. Hold up. When I was a kid, I remember I got so fucking frustrated with this game because I didn't know how to get to that monkey up there. But, uh, Fatal Frame is a interesting game. It's like, it's an interesting concept, but 
It says based on a true story on the box, but it's it's exaggerated, obviously. But uh, Scratchy, I'm scratching my. I remember when Nico said that. He said, "Scratch my fucking balls." Oh my God. Miracle, you remember Nico from GTA 4? There's a part where he says, "Scratch my fucking balls." <laughs> oh my God. Okay. All right, where's the? Maybe I don't remember how to get up there. Oh wait, now. You see, when I was a kid, I didn't know what the fuck to do. Sucking. Miracle. You're not making anything easier. You do realize one more strike and my channel's gone. I hope you realize that. Oh my god. She said, I don't give a shit. Yeah, see, he's up there. You have to go through the mine shaft, I think, to get to, get to him. But uh, the, a fun fact is that in Japan, uh, Fatal Frame is actually not called Fatal Frame. It's called Zero. Well, it's, just, it's literally just called Zero. But I'll never forget that face on the box, because my Uncle Steve introduced me to that game. There's a, there's a picture, I'm assuming it's one of the ghosts. But on the box, it's like, he's like, or something like that. I'm like, what the, that, that face scared the shit out of me when I was a kid. I'm like, what the fuck is that thing? Oh my god. I gotta give it, I gotta give a shout out to my Uncle Steve. He doesn't really watch my streams anymore. But, um, my Uncle Steve introduced me to a lot of games that I know about today. Like Manhunt, Fatal Frame, all those games. Like, you know, I never would have figured out about those games if he hadn't told me about it. Oh, shit. Shit, what, what? Got you. But a miracle. No horny. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah, no horny today. I hate these fucking pigs right here. Yeah, you wanna, like, they hit you and then they run away. It's like they're scared of you. But uh, this chat is magically suspicious. This chat is pretty sus, no? Good. But right, I gotta get out of here. Because I have to get to that one area. I know exactly where it is. Yeah, it's up on the thing. I just gotta go to the where that lava pool is. This place is nothing but a cesspool. Joking. Okay. Nope. That's the exit. It's not where I want to go. But yeah, for those that, like I said, you know, I mentioned this already a hundred times already. But uh, for those that are curious about the Nintendo Switch, it'll be here Friday. That's that's what USP has said. But uh, that one moment when your dad's German and your grandpa, grandma is Jewish, so you gotta choose between pulling the quarter. Oh my God, dude, Jesus Christ! But uh, what's up, uh, Zombie Collector? Appreciate you for uh, coming in. Yeah, that that is that is fucked up. Oh my God. It's like, but grandpa or grandma, my dad is my dad is German. It's like I don't care. Kill that Nazi. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, because every German is a Nazi. When I was a kid, I thought that was the case because I was, a, you know, I was a stupid kid. I thought every German was a Nazi, but that's not the case. As a matter of fact, during World War II, there were Germans that were against Hitler. I'm not kidding. Like that's actually that was that was a true thing. Like th there were Germans that were against the uh, Nazi regime. Oh, shit. Gotta take the O here. But yeah, I do hope you're doing good. But yeah, that stream is, as of now, gonna take place on Friday. This Friday that's coming up. But yeah. So yeah oh, oh, what's up, Anthony? Dude, I was literally just thinking about you the other day, man. I hope you're doing good, Anthony. But uh, yeah, that fucking, that's that CJ thing. Oh, we got that. Oh! <laughs> Dude, that shit never gets old. I would never forget that, but I do hope you're uh, doing good, man. Really do. But uh, don't break the cookie. Don't break the cookie. Huh? Also, Anthony, I'm actually curious, have you, because I know you uh, grew up with a uh, PS2, did you ever hear of a game called Fatal Frame? Have you ever played the game? Oh, just made it back from Oklahoma, Mr. Streams. Oh, damn, dude. Yeah, I have a, I have a viewer that's from there. He lives in Oklahoma. That's pretty cool. But, um, yeah, I've been streaming as much as I can. I've, I've had a few delays here and there, but, yeah, it's been, um, it's been the same, you know, things have been pretty much the same. But, uh, ready, like, kick the baby, don't kick the baby, kick the baby. Huh? What are we talking about kicking babies? What the fuck? <laughs> I don't think I have. I'll, I'll have to Google and see. Yeah, Fatal Frame is... It, it's a game where you play as this um Japanese girl. I, I thought she was little, but she's 19. And um, her name is Miku, and she goes into this mansion, this haunted mansion, to save her brother. And it's like you, you your only weapon in that game is a camera, and you have to defend yourself from the ghosts. And the only way you can defend yourself is if you take a picture of the ghosts and you kill them like that. But there's a ghost in that game, I'll never forget. It's this, it's this bitch, she flies upside down and her throat is slit. Oh my god, I'll never forget that one. But, uh, you own the game? I have the game on my PS3, uh, because it was, it's initially a, uh, PS2 game only. But I went on eBay because I was going to go buy it. $90, nope. Nope. I ain't doing it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not spending $90 on a PS2 game, no thanks. So I went to the PS3 store and I bought it for 10 so yeah. <laughs> but, uh, kick the baby. R ready, like, kick the baby. Don't kick the... Bloat gets it straight. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, see, it's it's probably some kind of joke. I don't understand. But, uh, yeah, I'm sad. I know. Oh, it's a South Park reference, yeah. Yeah, th no wonder. I don't, I actually don't watch South Park. But, um, yeah, it's, it, it had a few sequels. Like, there was Fatal Frame 2 and Fatal Frame 3, but I never played those, though. I only played the first one. But, yeah. Damn, 90. Wow, well, maybe because it's, re yeah, it's, it's a, it's mostly because it's an obscure game. Like, not many people know about it. Hell, I didn't even, the only reason I know about it is because my Uncle Steve. But, uh, first warning. Huh? First warning. But, um, it's a game where it's, it's supposedly based off of a real place called Himaru Mansion. It's, it's in Japan. I think it's in Tokyo. And it's, a, it's a supposedly, it's this place where a lot of tragedy happened. Like, people died, people got killed and shit. Like, it was, it's supposedly this very haunted mansion. But, uh, first puffed cabbage when I was three, I didn't know what it was. Then at five, first watched South Park. Oh, yeah, see, I've see, I've watched South Park, I'm just, I'm just not a big fan of it. But, uh, just like GoldenEye, for instance, yeah, yeah, it's like, it's one of those games that's extremely hard to find, yeah. Because, um, I saw a copy of, uh, San Andreas on eBay, the Xbox version. Brand new, never open, $8,000. No way. Like, San Andreas is a good game, but I would never pay that much, no thanks. I wouldn't even pay that much for Manhunt, even if Manhunt was brand new, no way. But I'll look it up on YouTube, yeah, it's... It's, it's a very Japanese game, like it's, you can tell the game is Japanese, like natively, cause it's set in Japan, so it makes sense. But on my last words at my graduation was both my, was it really? Wow. Damn, that's fucked up. <laughs> it's like, see you bitches, I'll never see your asses again. My last words at graduation was, I don't know, cause I've been out of high school for, what, like, almost five years now? Yeah. yeah you okay? Okay, that's... Interesting. <laughs> oh my god, but um, yeah, Fatal Frame is, when I was a kid it scared the shit out of me, because there's a part in that game where you have to open this door up, and there's a ghost that's standing right in the fucking doorway as soon as you open it, and I'll never forget being a kid and seeing that part, because the ghost, like, it's, it's, like, has its head like this, kind of, and whenever, whenever you open the door, it's like, ah, it fucking scared the shit out of me, oh my god, I'll never forget my Uncle Steve was laughing so hard, because, because I screamed, out loud. Like, it was, it, it scared me that much, yeah. <laughs> like, I'll stand back for it, but it was literally, it was just like, oh, I was like, what the f <laughs> Oh my god, it scared the fuck out of me, dude. Jesus Christ. Finishing up on, finishing up 6-4, my last words would probably be a death threat. Oh, jeez, yeah, I don't do that. But, uh, oh, I was scared point Silent Hill. Oh, yeah, Silent Hill, I remember Silent Hill. Oh, wait, how did I miss this? How did, fuck. Yeah, speaking of which, I played San Andreas not too long ago. I was, actually, I was just messing around. I was just messing with the cheat codes on there. Because usually when I play San Andreas, I do the missions. And I think that's what makes me get mad at that game, is just the missions. Because the thing that makes me get very irritated with that game is how big the map is. I mean, sure, you get a whole state to play in. Like, you get three cities, a countryside, and a desert. But that's the problem. The bigger the map is, the more painful it is to restart a mission. You know, you fuck up a mission, you gotta drive all the way back. That's that's the thing that makes me get mad at that game. But, uh, POV, the fine girl's angry. Huh? <laughs> but, uh, pedestrians attack cheek. Oh, yeah, I remember that one. The, uh, complete mayhem sheet where you... Everybody's, like, just, shit's just blowing up and there's cars on fire and stuff. Oh, my God. That shit was funny. <laughs> oh, my God. Because it, my favorite cheat will always be the flying cars cheat. Because that's the one I used to always put in when I was a kid. But, um... I'll never forget the, uh, the one cheat... Where it was, like, I can't remember, I think it was, like, the clown cheat, the clown mode cheat. Like, every, everybody was dressed up as a clown or some shit. I can't remember. But, see, Vice City had a uh, flying car cheat, but it was disappointing because it's like you'd be in the air and then you'd just fall back down. Like, in San Andreas, you were actually flying around a lot. But, uh, LOL, I used to get a tank and put it in the flying car. Oh, yeah, the flying... See, in GTA 3, you can actually do that. If, if you keep shooting the tank backwards, you can actually take off into the air with it. But my favorite cheat in Saints Row is when you smack someone with a dildo and stick and they go, Oh yeah, I remember that. See, uh, San Andreas had a cheat like that, like the, uh, the, what was, what the super punch cheat? Like you punch somebody and they just go flying, oh my god. I'll never forget that cheat as long as I live. Also, speaking of San Andreas, there's a thing that I saw on YouTube. I'm gonna have to send it to you, Anthony. But, um, it's like an orchestra show, basically. I think it was in Russia, I think. And, uh, they did the San Andreas theme song, like, an orchestral version. It was actually pretty cool, I liked it. They did GTA San Andreas 4 and 5, I think, the theme songs. But um, when I heard that... 
do 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 I was like, oh my god, here we go. <laughs> but uh, Robin, do you own Saints Row? Saints Row 2, they have a cheat where you became a child. Oh my god. Yeah, I've, I, I've, I've played Saints Row, yeah. I, I have uh, Saints Row 3 and 4. And I think I have Saints Row 2 for PC, I think. Oh shit. I haven't played it in forever, though. But, uh, yeah, oh, okay, Explosive Man. Oh yeah, I remember that cheat, yeah. I remember Director Mode 2 in GTA 5. That was a fun, that, that was really fun, because you could do whatever you wanted, basically. Saints Row scared the fuck out of me. One mission. Oh, he's sleeping. Oh, that was the last one. But, uh, Saints Row scared the fuck out of me. One mission scared me for fucking weeks. The rest in peace mission. I don't really remember that one, because I beat Saints Row 3 and 4. I never beat Saints Row 2, though. But, uh, they have a cheat where all the cars attack you. Oh my god, dude, that is, I love that. I know in San Andreas they do that. Like, um, there's a thing where if you hit a pedestrian, sometimes they'll get pissed off. And I remember the one guy, he just, he followed me. I was driving from, I think, Los Santos to Las Venturas, I think. And this dude just, like, he kept ramming into me. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, dude, leave me alone. Like, all I did was bump into you. <laughs> but, uh, some kid got hit by a car turning while the kids was getting off the bus. My son told me, he said, oh, th someone said 10 point. What the fuck? People have no respect anymore. Jesus Christ. But, uh, hold on. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's... San Andreas had some pretty aggressive AI. I mean, because, like, if you even bumped into somebody's car, it's like they wanted you dead. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Hmm. But, uh, that's what GTA does to kids. I don't know. I mean... See, the funny thing is that the, the media tries so hard to blame video games for everything. And I hate that shit. Because, like, I've been playing GTA since I was probably 10. 10 years old. I had no business playing that shit. But I still played it. And you don't see me outside trying to chuck grenades at cars and shoot people. You know, it's because it's it's not real life. It's a fucking, it's a game. It's a video game. It's for fun. It's not real. It's not reality. I'm not over here trying to kill people, am I? Jeez. But, uh, I still have my San Andreas poster. Yeah, me too. I have mine. It's in the box, though. I need to hang it up. Oh, shit. But, uh, Saints Row 2, Rest in Peace Mission, Hitman Trilogy, and even if the disc is clean, it still won't read. Thanks for remembering this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, don't worry. I, I, I won't forget about that. I'm glad I pinned that comment, though. Jesus. Right? Yeah. Because, um, I mean, there's a thing. There was a news story back when Manhunt had first come out where, supposedly, this kid was obsessed with the game, and he, then he turned around and he killed his friend, and he was mimicking the game and shit like that, you know, like suffocating people. But that's the difference. The difference is that the kid that uh, killed his friend wasn't the one that played the game. It was the kid that got killed that played Manhunt a lot. It wasn't the kid that, was, that killed his friend. They tried to mix it up. Because it was the kid that got killed that played Manhunt. They found a copy of the game in his room. But, um, I played Mario for the first ten years of my life, but I never had the urge to jump on a tour. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I don't think anybody... I, I just hate when the media does that. It's like, oh, video games are bad. They're evil. They make you want to kill people. Oh, shut up. No, they don't. I've been playing San Andreas, GTA 4, 5, Vice City, GTA 3 for as long as I can remember. And you don't see me outside trying to kill somebody, do you? You don't see me outside trying to fucking stab people, shoot people, throw grenades. But uh, my pet turtle would look pissed at me when you watch me play Mario. Oh my god, he's just like, you're gonna kill my people? <laughs> oh my god. Like, no, they don't, they don't lag does. Yeah, that's, that's true. I seen a kid, he was, th there was a story I did see though. But uh, right, you know how cars I would, how, how cars I would jet? Yeah. I mean, well, you don't see me trying to steal cars, do you? But uh, there was a real news story though. There was a kid back in, I think it was like 20, 2012, I want to say. Uh, there was a kid where um, his mom had taken away his uh, Call of Duty because he was getting bad grades. And he snuck into his mom's room, stole a rifle, shot her. Because he, he was mad because she uh, took the game away. Now see, when, when stuff like that happens, it's not the fact of the game. That's a deeper problem. That's, more of th that's a deeper instability right there. That's not a video game doing that. Because when I was a kid and my games got taken away... I mean, I was upset about it, but I mean, I wasn't going to say, oh, I'm going to shoot my parents because they took my game away. Because it, I know I'm going to get it back, you know? But uh, damn, yeah, it's it's a true story. You can look it up. It actually happened. But, um, oh yeah, speaking of which, I forgot to tell you, um, so I don't know if you know what the Nintendo Switch is, Anthony, but it's a handheld gaming system. And it usually costs like $300 for that thing, but I got mine for a dollar. And I'm going to be doing a stream where I open it. And, um, I'm gonna see if I got ripped off. Like, it's... I'm, I'm actually really excited to do that stream. But, uh, yeah, it was much... Yeah, yeah, definitely. But, uh, that's a pair of problems. Why wasn't the gun put up, and how did he even get access to it? I, I don't remember the, the full story. I'm gonna have to link it to you. But, um... Oh, yes, my friend has one. Yeah, the Nintendo Switch, it's, it's a cool system. I'm excited to get my hands on it. 
it, it'll be here Friday, I think. So, yeah. But, uh, yeah, you get your games taken away in a smack on the ass as a punishment. Yeah. Like, when I was a kid, I got, when I got bad grades, I was punished, you know? But, uh, yeah, you get your, oh, wait, no, I just read that. But, uh, wow, one that, yeah. It was, there's a thing, it's called Timu. And Timu is basically Wish. And it's, so there's a thing that they do, it's called a flash sale. And essentially, they, they sell Nintendo Switches probably illegally for dirt cheap, but it's only 10 at a time. And, uh, oh, I have the, yeah, Timu is, it's, it's interesting, because I bought, if, I bought one thing from them so far. I bought the Switch, and I got a screen protector. So, two things, my bad. But, um, they have a flash sale on the Nintendo Switch OLED, and they probably do it illegally, obviously. But it's a, they sell Nintendo Switches for, like, dirt cheap, like, $7, $1, $99. Like, this is way below retail price, and, um... The only problem is that it's a Japanese Switch, but that doesn't bother me, though. Because I can change the language and shit. So I don't really care about that. But I've been thinking about buying some stuff from there. Yeah, Timu is okay. Uh, the shipping times are not as bad as Wish or AliExpress, but... Um, I'm still waiting for that Switch to get here, because USP has told me it'd be here Friday, so... I'm gonna be doing a stream where I open it live on YouTube. On my stream. And I just want to see if I got ripped off, you know, because... Chances are I might have got ripped off. Because after tax... I paid a dollar five cents. But, uh, hey, darling. Oh, hey, Mom. How you doing? Thanks for, uh, checking out the stream that moment when Nutty Ape's mom comes in. <laughs> okay, I hope you're doing well, though. Did you did you guys catch that mouse? Yeah, there's a fucking mouse running around in the house right now. I can't believe that shit. But, uh, I'll try to make sure I don't miss the stream. Oh, yeah, they, I mean, even if you do miss it, it's all right. I, I understand. You know, people have lives, stuff going on. But after tax, that Nintendo Switch's total came to a dollar and five cents. The Nintendo Switch OLED usually charges, like, the, the retail price is $350. I paid way below, um, retail price. But, uh, good, me good evening, Mrs. Ape. How you doing? How are you today? Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But, uh, not yet. So that that mouse is still on the loose. Oh, my God, dude. Are you <sighs> I like how I call my mom, dude. It's just a habit, though. <laughs> but I hope it's legit. Yeah, I hope so. I mean, but I did tell my viewers, though, I said... In the event that I did get ripped off, I mean, it's a dollar. I mean, I don't care if I lost that dollar. I could easily recover that dollar. So, I mean, and, and plus I got it through PayPal. I did it through PayPal. So, even if I did get ripped off, even in the event that I did want to dispute it, you know, I could I could dispute it through PayPal. But, uh, time to says, yeah, we already have tra traps set up, yeah. But, uh, your, your cat ain't catch that mouse yet. I'm surprised. Well, here's the thing. My cat... She's blind right now. She's actually blind. Like, she, she's basically on the... Like, she's dying, pretty much. So she's kind of can't really do anything about it. But, um, tell Miracle to come here a sec. Oh, my mom. Yeah, she needs you. But, uh, tell Mickey Mouse to pack his shit and move on. <laughs> yeah, I, I wish we could. Jesus Christ. Yeah, tell Mickey Mouse to pack his shit. She just kissed me, guys. How dare she? I'm joking. Oh, that was my fault. Dorian, our cat is blind. Yeah, our cat is... Miracle, get your goofy ass downstairs. You know what's funny is on the Nintendo Switch, they have the uh, GTA Trilogy, the Definitive Edition. So, if you if I really wanted to, I could play San Andreas on the Switch if I really wanted to. But how's the baby? She's doing good. She's almost a year old. That don't even make any sense. Isn't that crazy? She's almost a year old already. Miracle kissed him. Oh, thanks, sorry. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say she's dying, but... It's like she's she runs into walls all the time when she can't see where she's at most of the time. But a while to yeah, she'll be eight months old uh, next month. That don't even make any sense. And she's she's a good baby overall, but sometimes she cries for the weirdest reasons. I don't know, but uh, unconsensually. This is sexual assault. Yeah, <laughs> like the one time there was a thing we were doing. I don't know why she was crying, but um, we were holding her because she's at that stage where if you're not holding her, she it's a problem. And, um, we were, we were holding her, but it's like, if we were sitting down, she'd start crying. But then it's like, if we stood up, she'd be okay. Like, it was, it, it was weird. Like, babies are the weirdest fucking things ever. I don't get it. But, um, I told Miracle, though, I said, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good on having more. I don't, I don't need to have more. Jesus. But, uh, <laughs> why? Oh, yeah, <laughs> pretty much. It's like, why? Like, it was weird because... Like, we'd be sitting down. Oh, well, one is just fine. Yeah, yeah, no, no more than that. I'm, I'm, I'm done after this. Because, um, it, it was just confusing. Like, like she would start, like, because we, we would put her binky in her mouth if we were holding her when she sat down. And then she was good. 
but it was it was weird because if it fell out, then she started going. Eh, eh, eh. I'm like, we're all we're doing is sitting down. Like I'm like I'm I'm so lost right now. I don't I don't understand it. But uh, I don't see how people can. Yeah, no, yeah, fuck that shit. Never. So a fun fact, guys, you can see there's a life up there on top of the pyramid. Here, I gotta get a better view of it. Hold on. You guys can see there's a uh, life up there, and. To this very day, I don't know how you're supposed to get that life. Like, I, I remember as a kid, I tried so hard trying to... I, I, I don't think it's possible to get it. Because, um... Th like, I remember I, I looked and I tried so hard. Like, I don't think that you can get that life. But a weight, Tony Graham, having six siblings isn't weird. I mean... Oh, you try your best not to be... Annoyed. Yeah, yeah. I mean, at times, it's, it's a little hard. Because, you know, the sensory issues I have. Because I have an issue with loud noises. And at times, it's, it is hard to... Not get frustrated, but I mean, it's... The the most annoying thing to me is when she's fed and she's dry and everything's good, but she's still crying. It's like, there's nothing wrong. Jeez. But, uh, it might be a mistake. Yeah, probably. But, uh, she's almost one wild tool for me. <laughs> he's I'm just a fetus. Oh, my God. Okay, where is this last monkey at? Oh, he's over there. Okay. Oh, no, there's two monkeys left. I think there's two in that room, though. So, I should be okay. But, uh, yeah, she is almost one, though. I mean, it's it's crazy because um, she has the same eyes as her grandmother, because my mom has blue eyes, and um, Miracle has hazel eyes, and I have brown eyes, and she has like her eyes are blue, Elisa's eyes, but her hair color is interesting because it keeps changing, like um, at times it's like a light brown color, but then at other times it's like almost like dark, like my hair. It's really strange, but uh, Nutty's brain running on 720p. Oh my god. Yeah, it, I mean, it, it runs at probably uh, 360p, I would even say. Okay, hold on a second. Hold on, where's that? Oh, he's back here? Oh, I hate those fucking things. But uh, no, I couldn't imagine. Like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's funny because we were actually talking about CJ earlier. And like, what he like his, what his life after the events of San Andreas. And it could be assumed that he, I guess, lived a peaceful life after that. Because he's rich, obviously, at the end of the storyline. But see, it always makes me wonder, because, like I said, you know, uh, San Andreas is... Or no, uh, Manhunt is set 11 years after San Andreas. So it always makes me wonder, I'm, like, every time I play that game, I'm sitting there wondering, I'm like, I wonder what CJ's up to right now. <laughs> he's probably he's probably just chilling in Los Santos. Canton, probably. Shit. No, no, no. I hate that shit. Okay, so there's one still running around somewhere. I hate when that happens. Fuck. But I remember in your eight ninth grade saying "smash" to the unborn fetus, and I got sent to the head of the. Oh my God, Jesus, <laughs> dude! Holy fuck! CJ needed a peaceful wife after having, uh, after Bid's friends turn turn his back on him, having something to do with his mom. Oh yeah, yeah, because I mean the crazy thing is that uh, CJ actually had another brother too named Brian, and a typo. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I get that because I I make typos all the time, but um. CJ used to have a brother named Brian, but he was killed off, and it was, I think it was like a year after Vice City took place, so 1987, but, um, he left San Andreas after Brian died, and he went to Liberty City, and that's why at the beginning of San Andreas, he says after five years on the East Coast, it was time to go home. The only reason he went to Liberty City is because he, he was ridiculed for his brother's death because he basically let his brother die. But yeah, yeah, wow, yeah, that's that's true. If you, there's a thing you can look up on YouTube, and it's called San Andreas: The Introduction, and it's a 10-minute movie that Rockstar made, and it kind of goes more in depth about CJ's life before the events of the game. But yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. It's 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 interesting. It's it's only 10 minutes long, but it shows CJ in Liberty City, and he jacks a car. It's actually funny. Oh my god, he said, "Get your ass out of there!" He had the gun pointing at him. Which <laughs> I fucking lost it. And then he it shows him mugging some guy in um the alleyway. Oh my god. Oh my girlfriend is back. Oh shit, that's that's good. Hold up. My girlfriend is downstairs right now, as we speak. Yeah, my girlfriend has um she suffers from epilepsy. And lately they've been trying to talk about doing brain surgery, but yeah. You broke into the wrong house for Oh yeah, I remember that. Jesus Christ. Yeah, big smoke. He's like, hey, big smoke, it's me, Carl, chill, chill. He's like, CJ. Oh, my dog, what's up? Oh, my God. <laughs> Man, that game, I will give San Andreas some credit, though. It has a really good story, in my opinion. Like, it has a better story than Vice City, in my opinion. I mean, I love Vice City, but, yeah, I love Vice City. 
I never thought I would say that, but I do. I actually like Vice City more than San Andreas. Because, I mean, San Andreas is a good game, but like I said, you know, the thing that makes me hate it, though, is just the mission thing. Like, if you fuck up a mission, it's like you gotta drive all the way back. Like, that is so annoying, dude. No, thank you. But, um, the most bullshit way we met was because I fought a dude and she went up to me mid-fight to ask for my number. I found it funny and I gave it to her. <laughs> a couple months later, we're dating. Yeah, that's, that's pretty unorthodox. I mean, if it makes you feel any better, I met Miracle through Snapchat. So, I mean, yeah, that's, that's how I met Miracle. But um, I remember trying to convince you to love it. Yeah, I actually love that game now. I actually really love Vice City. And Vice City Stories, I actually beat that not too long ago. And it was good. It's it's a prequel to Vice City. It takes place two years before the actual, like the original Vice City with Tommy. So when that game takes place, Tommy was still in prison at the time. And he plays uh, Vic Vance, which is Lance Vance's brother. And I, I when I played Vice City Stories, I hated Lance Vance even more. I mean, because of the way he acts. Like, Lance Vance acts like a fucking baby about everything. Oh my god, the military base is so aggressive on that game. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, and, and the main antagonist of Vice City Stories is, uh... I think... What, what the fuck is his name? Uh, I forget his name. He, he was that, like, Hispanic dude. Like, he was the... Wait, the military guy? I can't remember. Vance, yeah, he really is. I hate Lance Vance. I mean, because, um... Vic Vance is a little bit more mature... Because he's older than Lance Vance, he, like, he's the older brother of Lance Vance. But Lance Vance is just the most ungrateful fucking guy ever. I mean, like, I remember he was, he called Tommy, he was just like, he's like, it's you, my friend. He's like, I feel you ain't giving me a fair slice. Like, a fair slice? A, what, a fair slice of pizza? No, I'm joking. <laughs> no, I understood what he means, but he betrayed Tommy because Tommy wasn't paying attention to him. What? <laughs> That's like the most petty reason... To be upset with somebody. Slice of cake. Ah, oh, that sounds good right now. I love cake. I like ice cream, too. Like, cake and ice cream is good, but... I, like, I love chocolate ice cream. I don't care what anybody said. Chocolate ice cream, in my opinion, is the best. Like, I love chocolate ice cream. Like, <laughs> like, uh, but that, like, that's such a dumb reason to hate somebody, though, ain't it? Like, oh, I hate you because you didn't pay attention to me? He's acting like a girl. Fucking, like, Lance Vance is? Because I remember, I know that whole cutscene word for word, that final mission cutscene, when uh, Sonny uh, shows up at that mansion. I, I, I know that word for word. He was just, like, he said, Tommy! He's like, what? No big hunt for your old buddy? He's just like, I've, I've been 15 years out of the loop. I'm a bit rusty on family etiquette. He's like, oh, he's angry, huh, Tommy? Didn't I say, tell you your temper would get you into trouble? He's like, you sent me to kill one man! One man! He's like, Tommy, watch your tone. He's like, anyone think you can blame me for these unfortunate set of circumstances? <laughs> oh my god. He's like, but at least someone in your chicken shit organization knows how to do business. Isn't that right, Lance? He's like, sorry, Tommy, but this is Vice City. This is business. He's like, you sold us out. He's like, no, I sold you out, Tommy. I sold you out. He's like, the real cash is upstairs in the safe. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I forgot about that. Yeah, that's, I love that mission. On the PS2 version, though, it's a pain in the ass, but on PC, it's not that bad. I'm not, I ate some lucky-ass charms, oh my god. Jesus. Can you imagine if Lance Vance did that? But yeah, it's it's funny, because you can tell that Lance was going to betray Tommy from even the beginning. Because he made that call saying, like, oh, you're not giving me a fair slice of stuff. And uh, even Tommy knew what was up. Like, he, he knew that, that Lance was going to do something. Because um, he said, I feel you're not giving me a fair slice. And he's like, Lance, don't be like this. He's like, now nah, I'm warning you. He's like, do you hear me? <laughs> oh my god. But then again, though, Tommy has experience with that, so it makes sense. I don't know where this last monkey is. Maybe he's up my ass somewhere. I have to come back to him. <sighs> it's annoying. I hate when I have to do that. He did seem kind of fishy. It, it was that white suit. That was the... Oh, yeah, that... in the uh, purple shirt underneath it. Yeah. Oh my god. I mean, Lance was okay, but he just... He acts like a child. I mean, because he, he was like that with uh, Victor, too, in uh, Vice City Stories. Like, he just, he treated Victor like shit, like, the whole time. And then he's just like, my, my dad brother's white lady, I remember when he said that. Wow. Lance was a crybaby, he cried about everything. Oh, you're not paying enough attention to me, Tommy? He's like, oh, Tommy. Hmm. He's like, look, I won't rip you off or stab you in the back. <laughs> or when Tommy said that. But yeah, my favorite line in that game, though, is in that last part when he, he got in Sonny's face, Tommy did. And he's just like, no, I just wanted to piss you off before I kill you. I love that. Oh my god, that line is so badass. 
He's like, get back here, you double-crossing piece of shit. I don't know what he said that to uh, Lance. Man, I, now I want to play through Vice City again. I love that game. It's it's a good game because the reason I hated it so much at first is because of the uh, the controls on the PS2 version. Wait, because when you use that gun, it's like you have to. It's like first person aiming, and I couldn't stand that shit. I hated it, and I died so many times because of it. And that's the thing that made me hate it. But looking back on it, Vice City is a good game, and I actually like it better, better than San Andreas, to be honest. Like San Andreas is a classic. Don't get me wrong. But, um, with, with Vice City, it's just the smaller map means that the mission failure isn't as, as punishing. Because in San Andreas, you know, you have a whole state, you know, you, do, you start a mission in Las Venturas, you chase a guy all the way to Red County, you fuck up, you gotta drive back and restart. No thanks. That's annoying. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought I'd laugh when Hillary came. Oh yeah, that was... <laughs> yeah, I remember that fat fuck too. Oh my god. Bro, when I was in that fight, I legit looked behind me. And I see a shy girl behind me, and I go, hey, uh, can I have your number? Just find it funny, because dude wasn't funny, I gave it to, oh my god, Jesus. And just kept beating the fuck out of him, holy crap. He's like, hey, can I have your number? And she's like, oh yeah, sure, and it's just like, hold on a sec, I gotta punch this guy in the fucking face. <laughs> I'll never forget that noise in San Andreas, though. Uh, when you kill somebody and they go, uh, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, that shit was funny, they're like, uh. Yeah, but see, the thing that has me excited, though, is that uh, GTA 6 is going to be set in Vice City. So we're going to see uh, Vice City again. That's that's going to be really cool. I can't wait to see it again. And I'm almost positive there's going to be, you know, references to Tommy and all that stuff. He moved his head and just beat the fuck it. Damn. Oh, my God. Seemed like a violent person. But, um... Yeah, I, and then GTA 3, um... I hate that fucking game. I hate GTA 3. They better have a bunch of... Yeah, I hope so. Now, the cool thing is that uh, GTA 6 is going to feature the Everglades. So, like, it'll have, like, swampy area. Until I grab my phone, got it, and left. That's, like, so awkward. Like, like it's like you beat somebody up, and then you get a girl's number after that. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus. But I do was crying. He was just like, bro, I wasn't crying. Sure, buddy. He's like, I'm not crying. I just, I just cut some onions a minute ago. I'm going to be honest with you guys, I kind of don't even want to play this game anymore. I'm just, like, it's not that I'm frustrated, I'm just bored of it. Like, 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 I'm just bored of just running all over the place. Oh my god. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's, like, like GTA 3 was, I, I can respect it because it was, like, the beginning, like, of the 3D thing. But, it, like, that game is, I, it's, it's unplayable, I can't, I, I hate that fucking game. But I feel like GTA 6 is going to be three times bigger than five. Supposedly, according to the map leaks, because people have already kind of, like, shaped the map up a little bit because of the leaks that happened not too long ago. But from what people have said, it's it's a roughly two times larger than GTA V's map. But it's going to be a Bonnie and Clyde type story. There's going to be two characters, Jason and Lucia. So there's going to be one male, one female. And it's, from the gameplay I've seen, it's looking really good so far. I mean, we're not forcing you to keep playing. Yeah, that's true. But then again, though, I mean, it's like... I said I was going to be, I don't know. I got to do something, you know. But yeah, new crayons, yeah. Oh my god, those things look like crayons. But um, from the leaked footage that we've seen, it's like in, you, you can rob places, like different stores and stuff, and you can hold hostages, and you can zip tie them to fucking objects and stuff so they don't move. But because if you if you watch the leaked footage, you can you can hear a few of the NPCs like, oh yeah, let's call the police or let's make a run for it. Like, they'll try to do, like, try to do shit. I've seen a map of GTA 6, it's not legit, but I was like, wow, it looks nice. It, yeah, yeah. It's It'll most certainly be bigger than GTA 5's map. Because the biggest problem with GTA 5's map is how much wasted space there is. Like, it's... Like, if you take out the desert, the city of Los Santos is so small. Like, in, I'm pretty sure the in the city of Vice, because, you know, Vice City in the HD universe is probably not going to be much larger than Los Santos. But the good news, though, is that there's more than one city. I think there's Port Gellhorn, which is, um, I think it's based off of Fort Lauderdale, I think. And, uh, Port Gellhorn is a, uh, it, it is a part of the GTA 6 map. Because if you watch the one leaked footage, Lucia is shooting at the police, and you can, if you look at the car, you can see it says Port Gellhorn on it. So, yeah, that's new, because that wasn't in the original Vice City. But, uh, I hate these ones that can run really fast. Oh my god. Hold up. Fuck, no, no, no. There we go. Catch? Oh, Jesus Christ. Gonzalez? What the f- <laughs> Hey, my name is Gonzalez. Oh, speaking of Tommy, there's a- There's a monkey in this level named Tommy. I'm not kidding. Serious. You guys will see, he's right there. He's up ahead. 
I gotta sneak on his ass though, because yep, he saw me. Yeah, Tommy can really see from far away. Shit. Oh, you motherfucker. Oh my god. <laughs> when, when I saw yeah, hold up. Yeah, see, there's Tommy right there. Oh, I knocked this out. Get it, get it. Oh my god, are you kidding me? This fucking game. Yeah, but I'm really excited to get my Nintendo Switch, because I thought about getting the GTA Trilogy for it again. But I heard it plays really bad on the Switch, but I saw uh, some gameplay of San Andreas still on the Switch. Yeah, you can now play San Andreas on the go, isn't that crazy? You can get, you can rage at the game on the go now. But, uh, but hey, after the fight, she just went to me and asked, Why did you ask for my number? I just went, eh, you admired the fight and seemed interested. Just thought you may have wanted it and we got along. Hey, I mean, that's good that you guys get along. That's one of the key things of, uh, a relationship is, you know, compatibility. That's, like, one of the biggest things about it. But, uh, hell yeah, 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 because, like, I, I thought about getting it, but... <sighs> San I gotta be in a certain mood to play that game. I mean, because San Andreas is a good game, it's just... The missions really get on my under my skin at times. <laughs> oh my god, because I'll, I'll never forget when I did the, uh... That stream, when I did that, that, that one stream a long time ago, you remember that one? When I did that last mission, and I died, and I was like, yeah, no, I'm fucking done, I'm not doing this shit. <laughs> I was like, I'm fucking done, I quit. I was like, this game is fucking broken, I'm done. <laughs> it's not broken, it's just... It, it just didn't... It, it, like, time wasn't very nice to it. It just didn't age very well. Did you hear about Sony's new handheld? No. Actually, I didn't. The last Sony handheld system was the PS Vita, right? Wow. Because, um... I mean, like, I, I like handheld systems because it's a game on the go, but, I mean, at the same time... Handheld systems are a pain, though, because it's like you have to charge them and it's... At times, the battery's not very good. Shit. Oh my god, can I just capture Tommy already? He needs to go to Vice City and kill Lance Vance. Oh my god. Their last handholds was, are amazing. Oh yeah, the, the PS Vita, right? Shit. Because they had the PSP, then they had the PSP Go, and then they had the PSP Vita. Or the, or the PS Vita, my bad, not the PSP Vita. This is Actually, this is starting to grit on my nerves a little bit. Hold up. Where's he at? There he is over there. Oh my god, he just disappears as soon as you fucking get to him. Look, see? What is he, fucking Doctor Strange? Oh my god. I own every single console. Christ, dude. So you own everything from the Atari 2600 all the way to the PS5? Jesus. The only gaming systems I have are the PS5, the PS3, the PS2, which I'm using right now, and uh, the Xbox 360 and the Xbox One, and the Nintendo Switch. Those are the only ones I have. Or at least I think I own a Nintendo Switch. I'll find out on uh, Friday. <laughs> Do you hear about the guy that does the voice Crash? But yeah, I heard about that. That's really sad, actually. But I was confused because Crash never had a voice, did he? He was always just like, wow, whenever he would die. Oh my god. The only thing he would say, yeah, wow. Not Atari's. I've always hated them. But from NES and upward, absolutely damn. I own every single console on my computer with an emulator. Yeah. No, I'm joking. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, you know what makes me laugh is, um, in Assassin's Creed 3, are those, uh, British regulars, like the Redcoats, they make me laugh so hard with the shit that they say, it's like, YOU, GET DOWN, NOW, <laughs> whenever you're on the rooftop, oh my god, Jesus, and the, the one thing, he's just like, hey, YOU'RE ALREADY DEAD, there we go, he said that, Jesus, <laughs> yeah, the fucking, those British soldiers, that shit they say in Assassin's Creed 3, oh my god, Hey game, you know it'd be great as if you didn't do that to me every two seconds. I'm seriously about to quit this game, I don't even want to fucking play this shit now. Like, it's just, it's getting on my nerves now. Dude! Tommy Versetti, can I just capture you? You know what's actually really cool? There's a cool easter egg you can find. So back in the day when Vice City was about to come out, Rockstar had created a website for to promote the game, and it was like supposed to be like 80s nostalgia shit. And, um... Kent Paul, you guys remember Kent Paul? He shows up in San Andreas as well. But it's like he's making the the posts on the website in like 2002, like it's supposed to be way after the fact. And um, there's a thing he makes, like Kent Paul says, and he says um, something like, See Tom, I didn't get us killed this time. So yeah, Tommy is still alive in the 2000s, which is actually really cool. But uh, Nutty, a game you may like on PlayStation 4, there's a Sega Mega Drive collection, it's like $10 online. And there's some pretty good games on there. Yeah, I know. I actually have that on the uh, PC, I think. Because I have Sonic the Hedgehog 2 and 3 on PC. So, yeah. This is... Oh, my God. 
Oh my god, Tommy! Jesus! So yeah, that confirms that Tommy was still alive when GTA 3 took place. That's pretty cool. Because he was supposed to appear in San Andreas, but Ray Liotta had some kind of problem with Rockstar, so they didn't bring him back. Yeah, because um, he's like, yeah, he's like, Ken Rosenberg. He's like, C can you put Tommy on the phone? Tommy Versetti? He's like, hey, I made that in great. I like how he said that. Yeah, so Tommy was still alive when uh, GTA 3 happened, because GTA 3 is set way after uh, Vice City and San Andreas, so... Yeah. Oh, shit. And the fact that Claude doesn't talk? <laughs> that dude does not say a single word through that entire game. Not once. Shit. But there's a cool thing, if you watch one of the earlier trailers for GTA 3, uh, there's, a, there's supposedly a clip of Claude talking. Wait! Got him. Oh my god. Yeah, see, look, Tommy, see? But uh, they had Ken Rosenberg look at Yeah, he looks bad in that game. Oh my god. But see, it's funny though, because there's a mission in San Andreas called the Meat Business, where you have to go with Ken Rosenberg. It's in Las Venturas, I think. And um, uh, the, Ken says something like, Oh, Tommy, I've how I've missed these times. And then CJ's just like, Who the fuck is Tommy? I like how he said that. <laughs> oh my god, he's like, Who the fuck is Tommy? Oh my god. I, I love when Rockstar puts these tricks like that in there. So yeah, that, Ken Rosenberg is an interesting... I, I hate Ken Rosenberg, though. He's annoying. Shit. Because he just, like, he just bitches and talks. Like, even Tommy a few times just like, Shut up, Ken. Sit down. <laughs> My goodness. Oh, you jump in the UFO. You need your little UFO thing to get me. Yeah, I hate Ken Rosenberg. He's obnoxious. But yeah, that's uh, that's pretty cool that um, they mentioned Tommy on that website. So he's still alive in uh, the early 2000s. So yeah, that's pretty cool. But, uh, I just realized my doctor told me to rest my leg because I burned it on when my girlfriend made the attempt. Please push me on my exhaust and it just burned it beyond recondition. It bur yeah. I mean, that's... Like, wait, what kind of degree burns did you get? Like, did you get third degree burns? or? Because I've never been burned that badly, but... I'm trying to think of the worst injury I've ever sustained. Because I've, I've, when I was a kid, I used to get hurt a lot. Like, it was... I used to get hurt really badly. Shit. But, uh, second... Oh, damn, dude. Ouch. Okay, so there's one monkey left. So that means that he has to be hidden somewhere. Okay. But, uh, ouch. Yeah, that's... Ow. Very much ouch. Oh my god. I, I still remember that CJ scream. Why'd they push you? The worst possible one. Police... Because there's some police in this world that just... They, they abuse their authority. They just think they're fucking better than you because they're a po police officer. Okay. Trent speeding, trying to run me off the road. Damn. It's like, slow down. Yeah, but that is true, though. Um, in Assassin's Creed 3, those those British regulars that try to attack you, like, if you if you climb onto the rooftop, they're like, you, get down now! <laughs> I love that. Jesus. That, that shit never gets old. I love Assassin's Creed 3. That, that's my favorite Assassin's Creed game. But, um... Yeah, that, you, get down now! <laughs> He's like, you're already dead! Hell yeah, he said that. Yeah, but... Assassin's Creed 3 is set during the American Revolution, so it's like, you know, like the Redcoats or the Lobsterbacks, as the colonists called them. It's so funny. Oh my god, it's like, haha, it's so funny, lolol. He's <laughs> like a text-to-speech voice. Okay. Oh, this game is really annoying me now. It's always one monkey left that I can never find. I hate that shit. Like, in the first Ape Escape, I don't have that problem, but... Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, but, um... On a serious note, though, AC3 is a game I feel like doesn't get enough attention. I mean, because people shit on, oh, the game is bad. Oh my god, the main protagonist is a emotionless robot. Okay, so let me tell you something. Imagine being four years old, and you watch your mother get killed in front of you. And on top of that, you watch the home that you grew up in get burned down. I don't think I'd be a too cheery fellow if that happened to me. Like, I mean, it's, like, it's just common sense. Like, doing, oh, he's boring because he's not charismatic like Ezio. Oh, shut the fuck up, dude. There are four things that need to be shown after stream. Oh, I get down from there. Now, I, I have to look for that on YouTube. Like, because it's it's somewhere, like, because I just remember on, on the PS3 version, like, if you play as either Haytham or Connor, if you climb up the rooftop, the uh, snipers on top of the roof, they'll be like, you, get down now! <laughs> oh, jeez. The trauma. Yeah, I mean, it's like, it just makes sense that he's... Not a very, like, charismatic person. You know what I'm saying? Like, that would fuck anybody up. Like, just because he's, like, not a cheery guy doesn't mean he's boring. Like, because the, the thing about, the, the, the way I see it with Assassin's Creed, like, the community, is if it's not Ezio, oh, it's shit. 
That's how I see it. Like, oh, does it have Ezio on it? Nope, I don't want nothing to do with that. Because it doesn't have Ezio on it. And to be honest, I mean, Ezio is a good protagonist, but he's like, he's not that, not that great, though. And even then, he became pretty boring at the end, too. But yeah, on YouTube, there are some things we need to watch at the end. Yeah. And to be honest, I'm kind of tempted to just do that now, because this this game, I'm, I don't think I'm going to beat this tonight, because the, the, I can't find this last monkey. But uh, these newer kids will never understand. Yeah, I mean, that's true. Because I got so pissed off the other night, because, I mean, you know, people can have opinions. That's okay. You know, everybody has an opinion. Opinions are like assholes. Everybody has one. But the way I see it is, I, I was watching a video. It was one of the, se it was sequence eight in Assassin's Creed 3 where Connor gets falsely accused of counterfeit cash, and he gets arrested. And he's taken to that prison, and he has to escape it. And there's a part where he gets caught by these regular group of guards. And this guy put in the comments, he's like, this exemplifies why nobody likes Connor, because he got ca caught by a regular group of, group of guards. What? what? Because he made a mistake, because he's human? And a human, you know, j just because he's an assassin doesn't mean he can't get caught. That's, like, that's so stupid, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, like it, oh, this exemplifies why nobody likes Connor. So you speak on behalf of the entire community? Is that what you're saying? No. Connor is a good character. I, like, I, I swear to God, I'm the only one in the community that likes Connor as a character. I think he's good. But uh, what? Like, that's stupid. It's like, oh, this exemplifies why nobody likes him. What? No, it, it, the, the reason you don't like him is because he's not fucking Ezio. That's why. We just for two hours. If you watch it now, you can be deemed as minimum amount of... Yeah, that's true. That's true. I could just kind of turn this into a chill stream or something. Because I'm going to be doing that tomorrow. I'm going to do a chill stream tomorrow. But, um... Yeah, see, look, I'm... Wait, no, yes, that's, I remember that monkey's over here, yeah, I forgot, I forgot all about this one over here, yeah, my bad guys, I forgot he was in that box, yeah, but, um, it's just, you know, I mean, he's not gonna be a cheery guy, you know, I mean, he watched his mom die at a young age, and then his village got burned down, I think that would fuck anybody up, you know what I'm saying? All yeah, all done, I like how he said that, but yeah, it's, it's just ridiculous, we can do a chill stream for an hour, just before the stream ends. Yeah, maybe we can. Maybe we can. Because, I mean, I want to beat this game because I don't have much left. I may as well finish it. Fuck it. I'll do a chill stream tomorrow, but that stuff at the end, I'll still show you guys. I swear to God, watch that Watch that PS2 read that disc. I'm telling you. As soon as I put that Hitman disc in there, it's going to read. I'm telling you. But I swear to God, the other day, I tried to play that Hitman game. This could not be read. See, the thing, the, the, fuck, the most fucked up thing about the PS2 is that it will, it'll read a disc that's scratched, but it won't read a disc that's clean. Where's the logic in that? <laughs> There's like absolutely no logic in that whatsoever. Enter the monkey. That does not sound right. Enter the monkey's ass. I'm joking. <laughs> Enter the monkey. <laughs> I swear to God, I wish I wasn't childish. Mm. But yeah, I mean, Assassin's Creed 3 is a good game in my opinion. You have Bomberman? No, but I actually, I know what that game is though. That was my game. Wasn't that a Nintendo game? Bomberman? I do know there's another game called Glove World, I think, or something like that. Or, wait, wait, so, because my friend was telling me about it on the Nintendo 64. Just grab keys and just carefully scratch it with the keys. Oh my god, yeah, just like, just... It, it literally, it would probably read. My PS2 doesn't like clean games, it likes dirty games. Oh my god. Got you. Damian? Is that his name? Damian? But, um... Oh, nice of you to join us. What did she need? Did you catch that mouse yet? <laughs> you didn't catch it yet? Still out there? But, uh, yes, and I bought on PS1 Quest, so my PS3... Oh, shit. Maybe I'll get it then, because, um... Last night, I actually bought Fatal Frame. Oh, you didn't have to do that. Thank you. See, guys, I have the best girlfriend in the world. She just got me this water. I didn't even ask her to do that. Okay. But, um... Or wife, I'm sorry. Damn, Jesus woman. But, uh... Yeah, and I... Oh, yeah, just like Miracle did. The ejection likes... Oh, my God, dude. I don't know. Like, like some sexual joke. Oh, no. No, nah, but um, anyways, what I was going to say was, is it's funny you mentioned the uh, classics, because uh, last night I was on my PS3, and uh, I had saw they had Fatal Frame, because Fatal Frame is one of those games I mentioned earlier that is, it's, it's expensive. Damn, wifey! <laughs> but um, Fatal Frame on eBay, the cheapest copy I could find of Fatal Frame was like $58, I think, maybe 60 I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not paying that much for a, uh, a PS2 game. No thanks. 
And, you know, I was like, why would I, why would I take the gamble on a game that might not read where I could just buy the digital download where it's going to for sure work? Because what if I, what, what, what if I fucked around and I bought that $80 copy and it just said that this cannot be read? What, 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 what use does it have then? Bragging rights? Fuck that. Ah, scary woman. Hello, I was so high. Yeah, I mean, it, oh yeah, guys, look, if you look up here, there's a, a monkey on a cloud, like flying on the cloud. And he's, his name is literally Goku. I'm not joking. Wait, from Dragon Ball? Because it's based off a journey to the West, see? Look. Son, Son Goku. See? Son Goku. Isn't that, isn't that crazy? Because oh, Dragon Ball is based off of Journey to the West. So you would be, I, I would be absolutely fucking livid if I paid that much for a game and it didn't work. I'd be pissed. But uh, you can resell that copy. I mean, yeah, that's true. That's true. I could always re just, you know, resell the game, but... I also want to, like, I, I, I'm buying it because I want to stream it. That's the main reason I bought it. Because there's a game also, there's another game too. Uh, it's, I forget what it's called, but it's a PS2 game. It's extremely rare. I looked on eBay. Somebody was selling it for $3,000. Yeah. It's, it's absolutely nuts. Like, it, it, it's bonkers that games are that high. But, uh, she is a woman with no filter where someone has one strap away from termination. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, but then again, though. The only reason, because I don't know if you know this, Anthony, but I have two strikes on my YouTube channel. If I get one more, my channel's gone. Gone for good. And the first strike was my fault. It's because I watched the GTA 6 footage on my stream. And Take-Two Interactive obviously took it down for obvious reasons. And uh, the second time is because of something I said in a stream five years ago. So yeah, YouTube doesn't really like me too much, apparently. I don't know. This reminds me of that level on Crash Bandicoot. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude. I love that level. Uh, Orient Express with the tiger. Yeah. Oh, my God. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Dead serious. Luckily, though, one of the strikes is going to be lifted pretty soon, so I only have one strike then. But still, I told my viewers, I was honest with them. I said, look, guys, if I get, if my channel's gone, I'm moving to Twitch. I'm not doing, I'm not doing YouTube anymore. YouTube wants to be a crybaby. Literally, YouTube is like Lance Vance. Cries over everything. Oh my god, you said a bad word on your stream. I'm gonna take you down. Oh my god, he said fuck. <laughs> yeah, that's YouTube. YouTube is pathetic. Yeah, it is. But uh, YouTube is designed for adults, but baby, exactly. I would be sad. I mean, I would give you the link to my Twitch channel, though. So you can watch me on there, but... It's it's ridiculous. I mean, it's like... they. Be, I mean, I hope so. I mean, because... The th that's the thing with YouTube, is that they just, they get you for everything. Oh my god, it's like, God forbid you do anything at all. I mean, because I don't know how true it is, but supposedly, uh, somebody got a strike for, oh, Bruce Monkey, I like that with Bruce Lee. But, uh, supposedly somebody got a strike for humming a song. Humming a fucking song. Oh my god, dude. Humming a song? Really? YouTube, get over yourself. People hum songs. Get over it. Jesus. Hey, Tony, you joined the Discord. I don't think he's in the Discord, I don't think. But um, he's actually a, a friend of mine that I actually met on PlayStation, I think. or No, it was uh, Facebook. But I don't think I did. I mean, you don't have to join if you don't want to. Honestly, the Discord is pretty dead most of the time. Nobody really posts in there. But <laughs> we have a meme section. Uh, we have a general section. Just it's It's more of like a community place like where people can... Like, the community that watches can come in and type and stuff. But yeah. Oh, there's only three monkeys left here? Okay. Yeah, there's one in there, yeah. He's in that statue. Yeah. If you want, the link is here at Discord. Oh, shit. See, but, uh, I'll join it. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate that. Got you. Aaron? I don't know why, but I smell barbecue. Damn, that's making me hungry. I'm fucking starving. Seriously, because, um, the last thing I ate was pizza, but... It was leftover pizza, so it wasn't as good as when it's fresh out of the oven. Got you. That went through? What the fuck? Yeah, I'm surprised, because usually YouTube chat doesn't let links go through. Capturing this monkey is the bane of my existence. I st it's so inconsistent, I can never get him. He's the last monkey. Oh my god, just get him. Is he is he stuck or something? Oh my lord above. Oh, we've hit a stalemate, folks. Hold up. 
it's just it's just fucking finicky. You just gotta capture them a certain way. Unless you're supposed to. Hold on, let me try doing this. He said, "Ha!" Huh. I'm on Vice Beach, or Washington Beach from the original Vice City. There's a cool Easter egg in um in Manhunt 2, though. Capturing this monkey is the bane of my existence. Slave capture. Oh my god, Jesus Christ! <laughs> but um, there's a cool Easter egg in Manhunt 2, though, where um. There's a level called Bee's Honeypot, and Bee's Honeypot is a brothel. It's like a hotel slash brothel. And, um, the, the guy, like, if, like, the receptionist, if you leave him alone, like, if you, if you don't kill him, if he's just walking around, uh, walking around, walking around idling, like, not doing anything, he'll sometimes just be like, I need to go to Vice City and just relax. I love that. that that's, like, one of my favorite Easter eggs in that game. And then, of course, you have the one guy. Where if he, if he sees you and then you run away and hide from him, he'll be like, run all the way to San Andreas, you little prick! <laughs> I love that. Stuff like that makes me smile. Yeah, but the reason he says that, though, is because the main protagonist of Manhunt 2, Daniel Lamb, is from uh, San Fierro, so it makes sense that he says run all the way to San Andreas. I can't get him. It's not letting me. Oh my god. Let me see some real quick. Oh, wait a minute. I think you need to use that banana rank. Hold on a second. I'll get his ass out then. It I love this game. <laughs> I love when it gets under my skin. There we go. Got his ass. Michelle. Oh, it was a, it was a chick. Okay, my bad. Michelle. But yeah, he's like, I need to go to Vice City. Just relax. Mm. Monkeys caught. I caught a thousand monkeys. C can you imagine if it just said go ape and capture a hundred monkeys? I'm like, fuck that. I ain't doing all that. Doing too much. But yeah, this game is on the uh, PS... Oh, yeah, see, guys, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I, I may as well just finish it. But uh, this game is on the PS4. Like, it's like as a PS2 classic. But it's broken on PS5, unfortunately. So, if you played this on PS5, there's graphical glitches, like like things like flashing and shit. It's because Sony doesn't care about anything. That's why. You know, like, everything Sony's like, can you make a better controller? Sony's like, sure! Can you make a better console? Sure! Can you make better games? Sure! Can you do backwards compatible? And they're just like, huh? <laughs> oh my god, they're just like, yeah, no. Th because I don't know what it is with Sony, but they just seem to not like backwards compatibility and I don't get it like, it's like Jody doing J Joni oh my <laughs> Joni <laughs> oh my god Tony joined the discord oh my god Joni joined the discord I like how I said Joni no Tony joined the discord oh, no, thanks man I appreciate that Tony really do yeah that's oh my god alright there's supposed to be a monkey over here somewhere what Maybe not. I guess not. Oh! Well, I made the ledge at least. Yeah, but uh, what's that? Backwards compatible? Is that, a, is that a child working backwards? I mean, I guess we're backwards compatibility. I mean, but it is ridiculous though. It's like... Like, Xbox has backwards compatible. Like, you can play original Xbox games on an Xbox One. Which is really cool. And an Xbox Series console. But on PlayStation, you can't do that. Like, you can't just put a disc in the tray and then it downloads. It's like you have to, it's either some kind of subscription or you have to buy the game separately off of the store, which I hate that. Like, that's just so obnoxious. I mean, like, why, why can't they just do it? It's because they're fucking lazy. They don't want to fucking do it. They're lazy. I mean, because Xbox does it. Got you. Okay, so Livingstone. Okay. So there's two running around somewhere around here. Yeah, he's up there. I gotta go up there. But, um... Yeah, I mean, like, I've always loved Easter eggs like that. Why does Dom Torito have, or hate the reverse cowgirl in Alabama? Because you never turned your back on. Oh my god, dude. That's fucked up. I like that one, though. That's that's a good one. I'll give you credit for that one. Shit. But yeah, so tomorrow, guys, we're going to do a chill stream. But uh, LOL, oh, it notified you that I joined. Yeah, yeah, it, it usually tells me if somebody jumped in. Like, it'll say, oh, so-and-so just joined. Say hi, you know, shit like that. But, um, Anthony, I don't know if you were here when I said it. But, um, in Manhunt 2, there's a cool easter egg you can find. Uh, there's a guy at the brothel, like the receptionist. And he, if, if you just leave him alone, like if he's just idling, 
Um, sometimes he'll be like, I need to go to Vice City and just relax. I love that. And then the other guy, the... What, what is it? The Red Kings guy? If he sees you and you run away and hide in the shadow, um, if he loses sight of you, he'll kind of get frustrated and then he'll just be like, run all the way to San Andreas, you little prick. I love that. That's so cool. But like I said before, you know, Daniel Lamb, the, the main protagonist of Manhunt 2, he's from San Fierro. Like, it, it, that's proven, because if you open the booklet in the in the game's case, hello, yeah, if, if you open the, uh, the game's case and you open the booklet, it says he graduated from, um, the University of San Fierro in 19, 1984, something like that, 1983. So yeah, Daniel Lamb is from San Fierro. But yeah, don't, don't say that, though. But he'll be like, run all the way to San Andreas, you little prick! I love that so much, dude. That's that's why I love Rockstar when they put Easter eggs like that. But, uh, did you say the low percent speed run Legend of Zelda? It's like, or did you see? I was about to say, yeah, it's like 20 hours because you have to let the sprite move back. Yeah, see, fuck that shit. Yeah, see, some speedruns, like, I seen a Red Dead 2 speedrun, and it was in parts. It was in parts. Like, you know that game as long if it's in parts. Uh, I'll need to look it up on YouTube. See, actually, I posted it. I can, I can actually, here, I'll play it for you. Hold on a second. My mic actually might cut it off because I have a, um, what is it called? A, uh, a filter applied where it kind of cuts out background noise, so it might kind of, it might sound bad. But, uh, here, I'll, I'll play it for you because I actually did post it. But, uh, hold on a second. Let me see. This is the, uh, Vice City one. Hold on. You hear that? Oh my god, I love that. I need to go to Vice City and just relax. But here's the uh, San Andreas one, though. Hold on. Here. Alright, we got trouble, people! I'm in no mood for America. Right after this. Run all the way to San Andreas, you little prick! Oh, yes! He talked about, he mentioned my boy CJ. And see, Manhunt 2, is, it takes place, like way after San Andreas and Vice City, so it makes me smile. I'm like, I'm sitting there thinking, I'm like, I wonder if CJ's still alive. I don't know. Yeah, it's almost like a horror movie. It's be oh, yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, the music. Yeah, because that's how Manhunt soundtrack is. It's usually uh, creepy. But see, another cool thing, too, is um, I love how this minute said I'm probably going to stop in a minute, 15 minutes later. <laughs> yeah, I'm still playing the game. I mean, I may as well finish it because I only have, like, a few levels left. I may as well. But, um... The cool thing is that, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, so, in San Andreas, if you go to the, I think it's in San Fierro, too, but if you go to the Las Venturas Police Department, if you look on the, uh, like, the, I, I guess, like, the board where they have, like, you know, wanted criminals and shit, um, there's a picture of James Earl Cash from, uh, the first Manhunt game, the guy you play as, so that's actually kind of cool. Yeah, that dude was on the fucking, he, he was on the run for, like, what, like, 10 years? 11 years. He was on the run for a while. And then he got, um, he got caught in Cursor City, presumably. And then, uh, he was arrested, and then he was put on death row, and then Manhunt took place after that. But yeah, I love stuff like that. You know, I, I just love smaller Easter eggs, you know? When they reference other characters or other locations, you know, I just, I love stuff like that. Puts a smile on my face. But they never did that with Bully. They never reference anything with Bully. They don't say, go, go to Bullworth or some shit like that. That'd be cool if they did that, though. Like, I was thinking about that. Like, what if in GTA 6, there's an Easter egg where somebody's walking down the street on their phone, they're just like, yeah, I just sent my kid to that Bullworth Academy. I bought That's so cool. <laughs> oh, shit. I love Easter eggs like that, though. It's my... They're my favorite. Hold on a second. Okay, so there's... I have to get up there, okay? Shit. Yeah, but I do hope you guys are enjoying the stream. We've been live for about 2 hours and 18 minutes, so... The stream hasn't been terribly long, but I would say, give or take, probably another, at least another hour, probably, at least, because this game wants to be an asshole to me, and doesn't want to tell me where the last monkey is. What up, what? Wait, it's pointing this way? Yeah, but I have no idea why, but I am absolutely starving. Like, I could seriously go for anything, like, like a, a, a cheeseburger? Oh, I sound so good right now. That's my fat American jeans talking to me. It's like, have another burger, fatty. <laughs> oh my god. But, uh, Thanos, I'm going to whip you like the 1800s as a black African-American with cops. Nutty ape. Oh, shit. Screams like Tom and Jerry. Oh, oh my god. That fucking... <laughs> that noise that uh, Jerry makes whenever he... Uh... No, Tom. Tom. My bad. 
Oh, uh, when Tom screams. What if he's like, ow, oh, ow, oh, 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 I love when he screams like that whenever his tail is on fire or something. Oh, God. That fucking scream always makes me laugh. The, the way that uh, Tom screams. Shit. Go, 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 go. There we go. This music literally sounds like something you'd hear in a Black Friday aisle. Like, on Black Friday? Like, you're, like you're at Walmart on Black Friday? And, like, you just hear that music playing? Oh, my God, laugh my ass. <laughs> yeah, that fucking, that Tom scream. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Or right, where's the... Where's the monkey at? Where's that monkey man? Monkey boy. No, monkey boy. Miracle, what are you eating? What did you just eat? Why didn't you share it? Did they get something? You got Chinese food? How'd you get Chinese food? She didn't order. Then how did you get the Chinese food then? Oh. Oh my god. See, she's over here not sharing her food. She wanna be stingy. <laughs> Blooper. Don't do that right now, because I'm absolutely... Like, I'm serious, I'm starving. I want something to eat. I'm not going to eat on stream. I got a stream to do. I got to eat... You know, actually, you know what sounds good right now is um Chick-fil-A. Because Chick-fil-A has really good sandwiches. They have the best chicken sandwiches in the business, though. Because McDonald's, like, the McChicken is... Meh. I mean, it's it's not very good in my opinion. Like, like the McChicken is okay. Uh, Burger King's chicken sandwiches are disgusting. I don't like their uh, chicken sandwiches. But, uh, and then KFC actually has a pretty good chicken sandwich. It's actually pretty decent. And then uh, Chick-fil-A is the best in the business. Then you have Raising Cane's chicken, which is good, but it's not as good as Chick-fil-A in my opinion. Some people say, oh no, it's way better than Chick-fil-A. No. And then you had that Popeye's chicken sandwich was, ugh, that thing was disgusting. I ate it, and I had the worst headache for like five hours. It was bad, and like the chicken was clearly undercooked. Like it was, it was bad. Like people were talking like, "Oh, it's the best sandwich ever. It's way better than Chick Fil A. Chick Fil A can't hope to match this." It was terrible. Like it, like it was so so below. So like it wasn't even subpar. It was terrible. Absolutely terrible. Okay, where's the? There's two monkeys uh, driving around. I'm not driving around, but, uh... Oh, there he is, right there. Get your ass back here, motherfucker. Okay, so there's three. Eddie the Falcon? I know there's a lot of pop culture references in these games, so I don't... Maybe that's some kind of... The fastest thing on skis. Where's he at, though? He's on, sk he's on skis, obviously. No shit, Sherlock. That really helps. Hold up. But yeah, I'm really excited to get a Nintendo Switch, though, because... I mean, I was never really big into Nintendo growing up. I mean, like, I had a Nintendo 64 as a kid, but, like, I never really, like, I never really played Mario or, like, The Legend of Zelda. You know, I was always more just a, like, a PlayStation, Xbox type guy. So I'm super excited to see what Nintendo has to offer. I'm actually going to pick up Mario Odyssey whenever I can, because, you know, I never actually beat a Mario game, surprisingly. I'd like to, though. I'd like to beat a Mario game. Oh, shit. Like, I, I sort of beat a Mario game, but it was... It was new Super Mario Brothers. And my friend always made me play as Luigi. Like, I was never allowed to play as fucking Mario. And, like, he just carried me through the game, pretty much. But, uh, my love, are you still sleeping downstairs with me? I mean, I can if you want me to. Ouch. But, uh, Tony hasn't even been here. Been in the server for ten minutes and I'm already insulting him. Damn, dude. Don't insult him. He ain't done nothing. The fastest thing on skis. Hold up. Where's he at? Woman, shush. Let the man focus and capture him. Okay. Nah, I don't. It's alright. Hold up, where's the... Where's the... He was literally just there! I just fucking saw him like two minutes ago. He... Oh, this this one is getting on my fucking nerves. Hold on a second. Oh, he... Shit, I drove past him. There he is right there. Get back here, fucker. Got you. Zippy. How fitting. Oh, God. There we go. I actually think I might get some KFC, I think. Because KFC is actually pretty decent, like Kentucky Fried Chicken. But, um, they actually, they, they got rid of their popcorn chicken, which makes me mad, because their popcorn chicken was really good. But they got rid of it. Can you better back up, boy. <laughs> hey, back up, you lame-ass Mark. No, I'm joking. You okay? 
I love you, Miracle. Okay, of course I lost my way. Oh, can I just get to the user levels? I like KFC. Yeah, KFC is good. But, uh... They, they, the popcorn chicken, because they had the double down sandwich too. But, uh, what are you going to do, waterboard me in hot sauce? What? No, just settle down, please. We don't need this. <laughs> That's you? Wait, what? What's me? Huh? But, uh, oh my god, I'm what, what's What's so funny? I'm, I'm lost. It went over my pee brain, I'm sorry. Jesus. Yep, XD. Oh my god, yep, XD. Ha ha ha. No, I'm joking. No, but, um... KFC is uh is really good, but they, they used to have the double down sandwich, but they got rid of it. Which pisses me. <sighs> this game is really getting under my skin. <laughs> oh my god, it's really getting on my fucking nerves. Cause I can't figure out where I was supposed to go. Oh my god. Which ended the Oh oh yeah, yeah, that's probably why I'm confused. But um I remember the, uh, the, I don't know if you guys ever saw the teaser trailer for The Incredibles, but that shit was funny as fuck, though. Because he was trying to put his super suit on, but it's like he couldn't because he was too fat. <laughs> oh my god, it was fucking funny. Like, I remember she was like, honey, dinner's ready. He's like, I can't come to dinner. I, I gotta go. I like how he said that. <laughs> oh, shit. The Incredibles. Incredible. But I like he, like he's, he looks like he spent 10 years in prison. I said, oh, damn. Jesus. That's fucked up, man. Really, water bottle? Did you have to do that? Christ. My water bottle just said, I'm going to peek the mic now. Jesus. I'm actually surprised Cameron's not here, and then he just tunes in right after I say that. But, um, he might tune in, though. But I think, Miracle, do you want anything from KFC? You sure? Oh, I'm about to... After Miracle's curse? What's... What's his... Huh? No, but I'm thinking after the stream is over, I'm getting I'm getting me some KFC. I'm fucking hungry. Seriously. <laughs> oh, that's me. Jeez. Yeah, come on, man. Don't make fun of her. She ain't doing it. What? No, because no, I was fucking talking shit. I don't know what he's saying. Hmm. I just don't know where to go. Oh, my God. See, if this was 10-year-old me, he'd be like despic. Oh, it's over here. Can I get the boneless boutique if you're fine with with it, that is. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. These jokes are flying over my head. <laughs> yeah, it's over here. Christ, dude. Wait. Oh my god, I lost it again. I'm starting to get irritated. Oh my god. <laughs> this game is starting to piss me off. He's talking about root. Oh. Oh, okay. From, oh, yeah, see, I, was still, I thought he was talking about me. I'm like, what? Jesus Christ. Can I get that bonus boutique? Oh, it's right here. And I fu oh, 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 this game is really trying my patience right now. But, uh, they're pretty good. Oh, my God. Oh, never mind. I mean, I'm, I'm serious, though, because I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely starving. But I gotta stop eating so much fast food, though, because fast food is fucking awful for you. That's a no-brainer. How many monkeys do I have? I have two monkeys left. So I'm missing... There, there has to be, because I think there's only one up here. Yep, missing one. Oh, he's in that box down there. Yeah. But, uh, what do you think I was saying? Honestly, I don't know, dude. I, I, I don't I, I just, I just stop paying attention. 3D. I'll get it 3D. Ha ha. Laughing hysterically, Sony. 3D. Hmm. Okay. Skip that. Damn, we've been streaming for almost three hours. I ate McDonald's yesterday. It's been months. It was pretty good. Yeah, McDonald's is okay. I actually had McDonald's not too long ago, too. I got the double quarter pounder, and, uh, it's, like, the thing that's, the, the problem with me is that, like, I get, like, way too much food. Like, sometimes, skibbity, bop, 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 yes, yes. No, I don't want to do a time trial. Oh, this fucking game, that's not what I pressed. I pushed start level, not time trial. Ay ay ay. Escape. Escape the stage. Because we're playing Ape Escape 2. Escape the stage. Now, Miracle, do you want anything? From KFC? You're full? Okay. I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> nice to meet you, full. I'm Robbie. Oh. Okay, 12 out of 16. Okay. 
So yeah, um, like I said, I may do a playthrough of Ape Escape 3, but like I said, I don't really like that game too much though. But I was asking Robbie if I can get the bonus boat team from KFC because they're pretty good. I mean, is that some joke or something? It's probably a joke. It's over, going over my head. I don't fucking know. Hold up. Okay, straight shot. We don't have to fucking jump around looking for these damn monkeys. Such crazy monkeys, aren't they? Wait, hold it. What does this mean? They say, wee, 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 wee. <laughs> my goodness. But yeah, I love Easter eggs like that, though. Bro, my order is a joke? I mean, I don't... I don't know. I don't eat at KFC re regularly. I can't recommend anything. I, I haven't had KFC in probably fucking months. But I will talk to you later, Robbie. I need to run the store. Oh, yeah, for sure. I, uh, I appreciate you uh, coming in, though. Um, Tony, I really do appreciate it. Running from the store? Oh, my God. Like, the store becomes a fucking sentient being, and it's a monster that tries to fucking eat you. It's like, you didn't buy anything from me. I'm going to eat you now. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, yeah, there's a monkey in there somewhere. Wait. Oh, move out of my fucking way. Huh? It's saying there's a monkey over here somewhere. If you if you get it, you get it. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't get it. Anytime. Yeah, I appreciate that. And tune in anytime you want to. Yeah, I'm I'm just about done with this game. Like, I don't even want to fucking play it anymore. Like, cause, like, I feel like I'm just wasting time. Like, it's like I'm capturing the monkeys, but it's just taking fucking centuries to get them. Or is it over there? Oh, it's over there. Okay. And I gotta use the fucking RC car. Yay. But, uh, then don't? I mean, but then again, I don't know. I'm a masochist. I like to fucking force myself to finish shit. I don't know. I mean, cause I'm like, I'm so close. I mean, I may as well finish it, but at the same time, I don't even want to. Oh, it's in here. He's inside of that rock, isn't he? That monkey? Shit. Oh, there's a life in here. Okay, cool. Got you. Boxer. That reminds me of Jimmy Hopkins when he's like, Give up those dreams of becoming a boxer, my friend. He'll say that to you. Like, if, if, even if you don't fight the preppies. He'll say that to, like, the jocks or something. It doesn't make any sense. He's like, Give up those dreams on becoming a boxer, my friend. I'm like, it, it, he would say that to the preppies, but he says it to, to anybody, really. Even the prefix. Save it for later. Let future self enjoy it in the future. Should I? Should I? I mean, because I... Like, it's not that I'm frustrated. I'm actually just... If anything, I'm bored of this game. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, we'll see. I don't know. Give me, like, two minutes to think about it. Wait, didn't I get the monkey in here? What's it? It's to... Oh, you can jump past it. Yeah, see, I feel like an idiot. Yes. It's dull, this chat. Damn, dude. Sorry about that. Hold up. Hold on. Damn. Oh, yeah, this whole room. I forgot all about this. Shit. Okay, well, at least with videos, it's, it's pretty good. I mean, yeah, but... I mean, I'm sorry that it's not good enough. Shit. Wait, there's... It's telling me there's something over here, too. I'll just complete this level real quick. But, uh, 107, that... Dead body made my day. Huh? What? <laughs> okay, Jeffrey Dahmer. Jeez. But, uh, because we could actually react and not have racist jokes. Well, I mean, racist jokes are really something that I want to have in here anyway, but... I'm a little bit too soft, it seems. Oh, yeah, he's in... Okay, yep. There we go. Chuck. Chuck Norris. Is he a fucking... Is Chuck Norris a monkey now? Hmm. I hate when that bottle does it. But, um... Can't red hair. Miracle, look at you. We're talking about slave captures. I mean, yeah, but... Still. Okay. I'm gonna save my game. But, uh, just one hour ago. That's true. Yeah. Save. I'm gonna save my game real quick, and then I'm... I I'm just gonna call it quick. I mean, it's not like I haven't beat this game before. I mean, I beat it, like, a hundred times over. But, um... Yeah, hold on a second. Let me. The 1.0 of GTA San Andreas is not any better without mods, but it's showing its age. Yeah, that's true. I mean, because it has like a widescreen problem. I know that. Like, you have to fix the widescreen shit. But, um, let's just watch videos for 30 minutes. Uh, I don't know about that. Not 30 minutes. Uh, 
Matter of fact, here. I'm just 